who's ready to who's ready for some cock dude who's ready for some freaking cock woo ain't nothing wrong with playing a little bit of a little bit of cock a couple days after the holidays brother ain't nothing wrong with it at all they put out like a bunch of new updates for this game and there's like an end game and I thought that was funny because I'm like, oh, that's the exact kind of like that adding like the last zone of a game in an early access thing is like that exact kick in the ass I need to never get to it anyways and die uh, like hours before even getting near the mid game over and over again on loop. I love that shit. I love you guys fucking know I love that shit, dude. I love I love just having like the carrot on a stick directly in front of me, keeping me going, despite the fact that I will die so far before it. Do they have modern UI for the inventory? Ha 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 ha. Shut up. Shut up, you. Be quiet now. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, all right? Because at the end of the day, our inventory only matters if I care about weapons and items. What if I just play another guy that can actively turn, like, uh, turn his entire existence into an alternate one at will with a button press? What if I just be a guy that can teleport into another timeline again? Tarkov wipe seems like it's in a few days now, by the way. Yeah, and you know what? You guys are going to be getting... <laughs> I, I swear to God, you guys are going to get so many Tarkov streams, dude. Don't fucking worry, dude. Don't worry. You're going to get dozens of them. It's all I'm going to... Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'll probably play it with, like, my buds if folks want to, but I'm not going to stream it. What are you, crazy? The only way I would stream Tarkov is if genuinely I set up like some cursed fucking bullshit and like did a challenge thing where I was like, I'm going to make the dumbest fucking like builds ever. I'm going to go in there with some of the dumbest fucking shit. That's the only way I would do that. I would have to do the dumbest fucking thing. It would have to be silly guns. But that's not really possible early Tarkov wipe, so I'm not gonna do that. That wouldn't be anytime soon ever anyways. So it's never happened. Dude, the only reason I'd be doing it, dude, is for the what for the fucking drops, dude. I, I'm just gonna stream it so I can catch some of that drops, dude. I gotta get those drops, dude. Please. I love drops. Knife only Tarkov. You can't do that anymore, dude. You can't just do knife only. That's how that's how the uh the fucking every scav on the map goes <gasps> and they all run you down. You can't do that. I mean you can like as long as you have a backpack, it's okay, I think, but either way, that's not happening. Give it up. I'm not doing that. I've got, I've got plenty of other stuff I'd rather do on stream. Thank you. Thank you. Like? Oh yeah, like what? Like I don't need to tell you shit. All right, I don't have anything I need to fucking tell you, motherfucker. Give me a goddamn break. If I turned on Tarkov for 10 seconds, you'd be like, what is this shit? Switches stream. Come on. Give me a fucking... I, I, can, I can read you like a goddamn book. <laughs> Man, what is this shit? Just play Stalker. Play Gamma. Asshole. And then switch stream. Why are you playing this when you can be playing Dark and Darker?
Why is this COD stream on 0.5 speed? Holy shit. I don't get that game's appeal. Tarkov's? Oh, it's a dopamine injector. That's all it is. It's... You go in, you pick up an item, you get a rush of dopamine, and then you get an even harder rush when you leave. It's just gambling. It's basically gambling. There's like four people in each map that can kill you and there are other players, and you only run into them once every like two or three games, realistically. Because <laughs> there's only one or two of the four people in the map, only two actually want to fight. Everyone else is just like, if I don't see a living thing this entire game, that sounds like a good day. That sounds like a good day. I want to leave with all this stuff and I never want to see a person. I played Tarkov and stopped when I felt like I was getting physically and mentally ill after 30 hours. Damn, I thought you were about to say 30 minutes. 30, it took you 30, all right, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, pl I've, I played it for about 60 hours and I only, I stopped and it started making me miserable. I mean, like, yeah, you played it long enough that I feel like you got your money's worth. <laughs> Dude, I could barely handle playing on like the single player mod. I was actually playing it last night because I saw the trailer for the, uh, for the update. I was like, well, shit. And then Gmart messaged me. He's like, you're getting in there? And I was like, yeah, dude, I've been practicing. And then I w logged on to the single player mod. And I was playing for a little while. And they make the AI pretty fucking psycho. Uh, I went on to like, I went on to like a little map. I was hiding. I made too much noise. And then some guy screamed in a, in a, a foreign language, something I could not understand. And then I heard him stop up three flights of stairs, geolocating my uh, exact positioning, and then kick the door down directly in front of me. And I screamed. And then he said, uh, Stuka. And then he uh, shot me once in the arm. And I had an automatic gun, so I started blasting. But he had the heaviest armor I'd ever seen in my whole life. And he just kept screaming things at me as he just lit up every part of my body, but the part that would kill me. And then I stumbled behind a desk and then he ran right up to me and just like reloaded his gun point blank in front of me while still screaming. And at that point I was screaming cause he had, he had a scary mask on. He looked like the guy from Halloween. Uh, I was screaming and then he started screaming more and then he finally killed me. And it took about 30 seconds. <laughs> so that was like actually like horror game shit. I alt F forward. It was bad. It was bad. I believe it was a guy named, I believe when it popped up, it was a guy named T Tagila, I think maybe. It was some boss, I think. He, he, he found me. <laughs> he, he found me. He found me. Tagila would have sledgehammered you? That's, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe, maybe it was someone else. Either way, the fact of the matter is, uh, I'm basically as trained as I ever could be, uh, to play with my friends. At least now I know maps. I know the maps. I know how to find the exits. And that's better than last time. I know how to manage the inventory. And that means that when one of my friends dies and they say, Can you please dump all my stuff in a bush, please? Spend the next five minutes in danger. Dumping all my shit in the garbage for me, please. I'll be ready. You know what I mean? You take it and go home. Oh, well, that's the that's the thing that everyone quietly does if they're a scumbag. <laughs> I think I did that one time. I think I did that one time to one of my to one of my buds because they were like taking all of the loot for the whole game. And then they died. So I just like grabbed one of their guns and I was like, yeah, I dumped it. 
<laughs> I just took it with me because I was like, this guy's got millions. They're so rich and I'm so poor. Uh. Wow. Based is what I would say it was. All right. I would call it. I would say it's based. Based on what? I hate I hate that fucking development of that of that word. Yeah, based is already cringed enough. But when everyone now says based on what? Stupid. Stupid on top of stupid. It's just dumb. We've all been owned. Dude. Based on these. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Just like Ligma Tomato, you can't say it anymore. Well, that no, that one's easy. Hello, everyone. Finally able to watch stream live, and it's Caves of Cut. My evening couldn't get any better. Welcome, welcome. At this point, I, I'm kind of nervous when a new chat member message is something so just normal and like friendly. Because most people come in and they scream some unbelievably stupid shit when they come in. And it's like, mm, mm, not so sure about that one, Nate. I watch tomato five hours a day. My health has never been bad. Dude, I'm fucking actually still mad about how Vintage Story ended. What a goddamn... I think I did everything right. And my biggest issue was just that I... My FLV wasn't 130. No, no, it's not my fault. Dude, the devs need to add footsteps into that game. Minecraft has it. I would have been okay if I could have heard any of the things around me making noises. And it probably would have made the game a lot more fun. If I could hear anything moving around me. Is it because they move slow? There is no footsteps in... Vintage Story. They don't exist. They don't exist. I think there's mods that add it. I think there's mods, but uh, it's just not there yet, man. It's just not there yet. They gotta get that. Once they get that, dude, I would be so freaking happy. He needs echolocation to find ore. I, dude, I'd love an echolocation video game where you actually had to scream to do the echolocation. Like, not a long game, like a 30 minute game. But, like, give me a black screen, and when I scream, echo locate for me. It probably exists. Scanner, Sombra, but no, chat, it's any LiDAR style thing is close. That's what you're thinking of. That's what Scanner Sombra is. Uh, thing is, that's not echolocation, that's LiDAR. <laughs> there, that's not what I want! I want to be just like a bat. Yes. Have you played Stifled? I own Stifled. And I'll tell you what, I've never played it. I bought it. And then... It got mixed reviews on Steam after I bought it. And then... I never played it. Influenced. 
Dude, I don't have time to play every game, you know? Did someone just actually suggest Inverbus Verus or whatever the fuck that game was? I'm sorry. Did you just suggest that fucking game to me, motherfucker? Did you just suggest Voice Wizard game? Did you just suggest Voice Wizard game? Famously the worst stream ever. Known horrible stream. Dude, what a goddamn shame. You know, it's not my fault that that game decided to use its really interesting, like, vocal, like, casts, like, spell casting thing uh, for puzzles instead of anything, like, more interesting than just, like, platforming. What a damn shame. I just want a wizard, like, magic game where I can yell, frickin' die. Kazam. And then, like, blast them with, like, a fucking laser right out of my wand that I'm holding at the same time, you know? I just want to freaking yell magic missile and then actually see the magic missile happen. There's D&D, &D, tomato. I, when I play D&D... &D, in combat, I may go too quickly. I, the time never arises where I've ever thought I'm gonna actually RP out my fucking move. No, what I do is I say, I move exactly 30 feet this way, and I, uh, I'm gonna roll two uh, D20s to do my attacks. Did I hit? Okay, and my turn is over. I've never at one point considered talking about anything I do during my turns. <laughs> Minus two. Well, the reason I do that is because everyone takes so long to do their turns just as the nature of D&D &D and the way that it works that the most I think I can do for my DM in a streamed campaign is move as fast as fucking possible to the next person and uh, get the fuck out of the way. You know. My turns, dude. Listen, all right. Brett can, Brett can, I feel like there's one claim I can, I can make and it's that I make some fast fucking turns. Okay, Brett could confirm that. I make, I make pretty quick fucking turns. Yeah, I am a warlock. All right. But. I do some quick fucking moves out there. And then as DM, you power RP tomato. I, I love, hey, I mean, if you ever did anything that I was like, dude, that shouldn't have happened. I, <laughs> I tell you, but it's never come up. So I don't fucking care. Well, I don't fucking care. For a magic user, you make turns quick. Dude, I, I, I still dread every turn. As fucking Adelward, I do. Every turn I dread as Adelward, it's so much fucking work. It's so much fucking work. Some people were so mad during the PD finale on that on that one Jesse turn. I are you talking about a different thing? You're talking about Jesse trying to decide how to save Dash because I wasn't upset about how long that was taking whatsoever. Uh, I don't think any of the players were upset. I think that everyone was just kind of stressed about the fact that you know we do have a timer. That's why I was like, hey, we have to decide something. I, but like then again, I've also we had like uh, I know Lena was stressed as hell. Uh, which I think is rad. I think it's cool to see people stressed out uh, about stuff like that. I thought we were making good time. I, I in, in the background of the whole finale, I was like, we're making good time.
Now, if we didn't get the, uh, if we didn't like do the artificer stuff right, then I would have been panicked. <laughs> but yeah. Some chatless were getting mad. Oh, chatless can go fuck themselves though, dude. They don't know anything about anything. All they know is the numbers that they're looking at. They don't know, they, all they have is what they're being shown by the stream side, you know. They can't see everything in everyone's inventories or everyone's stats and what everyone has available to them to actually like have context to what decisions they're making. I got flack because it wasn't hard enough. Chatless will always get mad. Dude, here's here's my take on like D&D &D boss fight difficulty. I think it's so much more important to make a memorable boss fight with memorable mechanics than it is to make something that's obnoxiously hard and actually going to put everyone on their asses. Like as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather have the opportunity for everyone to feel like they had some cool moments in there and then have the fight end and be like balanced and not have anyone go, wow, I got fucking absolutely bodied because I roll like, di cause chat, you can't balance D and D to be incredibly difficult because it's dice rolls, especially early game, like late game D and D like level 15. Yeah. You can make it fucking hard because your characters have enough tools now to weigh, like to like get luck back on their side through their abilities at level fucking like five we were level five we don't have that <laughs> we don't have that we don't like so it's like you can't be just catching insane mechanics all the time we don't have the same methods to avoid them as you do in late game i pan i was panicking about the bloodied ability because I, if i rolled poorly characters are gonna die yeah, I mean, like, some people would have gone down hard if, uh, when the reactor, or like, when the 50% thing happened, <laughs> that rolled so bad. I don't think, you see, I, when we were going through all, like, the stuff for that boss fight, like, when you were revealing it, and we were, like, learning it, I was, like, dialed in, but there were parts of it that I just, like, was missing because I was trying to take in so much stuff, and my brain was like, even if he goes to 50%, I was, my head was like, we have probably a turn to get around corners. I didn't even like process that it would instantly proc and that I should be preparing for that. So I was just like, eh, well, I'll take 50%. That's, I, if they don't roll too crazy, I'll be good. Fifty percent is a pretty good dude. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> horse blinder JPEG. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad Zug used his inspirations. Did he not use the inspiration I gave him once? Is that what you're capping about? He used it. Okay, because at this point, at this point. I really like the like short rest, give half the team inspiration thing. I do, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to fixate on giving it to like, like players that are forgetting the mechanics still. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to give it to the gang that like wants it and is actively asking for it. Like, like fucking Lena. Sometimes stress makes you forget. Dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm in the boat with inspiration where I'm like, use it the fucking instant you do a roll that needs it. Like, that, not even that needs it, that can use it. Because like, especially in like the 10 person fight, so many people were doing rolls that the likelihood was high that if you needed it, someone was gonna throw it to you. Was like my logic, you know? considering leaving my D&D &D group because the DM said he sets us up to fail. Okay, take Lucky. Uh, take Lucky for starters. Um, take Lucky. Bad DM, but take Lucky as a feat. Go ahead and uh, also take like Halfling. 
so you can double up on that. Uh, get Divination Wizard. Get a Divination Wizard. Okay, and then get a Paladin with Hexblade. Multi-class, one level dip. If they're gonna set you up to fail, uh, really fucking pull out all the meta bullshit to piss them off, uh, I would say. Make a halfling div divination wizard with lucky. <laughs> and, and really piss them off. Is it just me or does tomato sound much clearer today? It's just you. Peace domain cleric. Oh yeah. I mean like if you want me to go down the list of DMs trying to set you up to fail, you need the strongest front loaded fucking characters you can get. Make sure you have a peace cleric. Get yourself a peace cleric. But only have them one level dip into it. Then have another character two level dip into twilight cleric. <laughs> so that you can have both. <clears throat> Get yourself the twilight cleric, div like divine uh, buff, the temp health buff. And whoever's doing the divination wizard, uh, also have them uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, full full divination wizards, fucking spicy. Be as extreme as it could. Make a really hardcore fucking campaign, but cap it at third level. Mmm. There's some pretty cursed shit you can do with only three levels still. If like, yeah, I mean, I would if I was gonna make a third level as front loaded as possible psycho character. What I'd probably do is Hexblade, one level of Rogue, to get the, uh, to get expertise so someone can do stuff outside of fights with, like, reliability. And then dip into, like, one, probably one more thing of Warlock, probably two Warlock, one Rogue or something like that. Because I don't think you'd be able to get enough levels to really do a meaningful Paladin Warlock split. Three levels sounds like time to make a spell sniper. Dude, one of the biggest, ch like, there's so many, like, things that are like, you can use a, you can get a fucking Eldritch Blast to shoot 1,500 feet away. And it's like, man, I've never once in my whole life been in any situation where the opportunity has ever come up to shoot someone's head off from 1,500 feet away. Brett, I'm begging you, man. Give the bomb the opportunity to fucking lean his head out of the fucking ticket while we're flying in space. <laughs> so I can shoot blasts from fucking a mile away. <laughs> let me let me roll the windows down. Warlock options get wild. Now that is, that is true, we could make a modified cannon. A lot of 5e meme theory crafting is only applicable in white room encounters, and that's why Divination Wizard is the most powerful subclass, I think, in 5e. I would say Divination Wizard and Star's Druid are the two most powerful early subclasses that you have to double, like, put in multiple levels towards. Like, the fastest, like, power spikes that you get. Star's Druid's fucking unbelievable. Gloomstalker is good, too. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah. I don't, you see, the thing is, I don't trust any subclass in D&D. &D 
that goes offline the second it's done its one thing. You know? If your Gloomstalker shit doesn't go well on turn one, you're a normal ranger for the rest of the fight. And I hate that. I hate that. That's so sad. Life Cleric Star Druid. There's a solid chance Willoughby's going to take one level in Life Cleric at some point because of the free uh, Goodberry spell that I have on my character now. I'm I'm probably going to pivot Willoughby to entirely healing now because we don't need the damage anymore. Everyone else is doing good damage. I'm done talking about d and I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. We are not talking about it anymore. We are done. God. I'm such a freaking dork. But yeah, I'm very excited for uh, next season of Pipe Dreamers. Very excited. It's going to be a time. Let's talk about cud builds instead. Can you please call it cock builds? Uh, can we please keep the whole name in? Please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. God damn. Gonzo enjoyers only. What? Wait, what are you to wait? Hang on. Everyone stop having fun. Everyone shut up. What is this guy talking about? Why is Gonzo? Why are we talking about Gonzo? Where'd you come from? Chat, I saw some strange messages in the chat earlier today and I saw I saw Katie deleting some of it, but I still I was still able to see it. Uh, they were they were changing the uh, the uh, they were changing Gilk uh, from being um, from being Gorilla Milk to Gonzo Milk. And I just want to go on record and say I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. I do not like that. I would like to ask you to stop. Stop that. Stop that now. <clears throat> okay. Only warning. After that, I'm gonna get ridiculous. Let Gonzo be happy. This has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with that. What do you mean, let Gonzo be happy? No one implied whether or not he was happy or not as a result of this. Michael with an arrow pointing to him, guts plastered with gilk. All right, time that person out, add a mod message that says disgusting freak. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Can you guys stop ruining Michael? Stop! Stop ruining him! I'm gonna be right back.
Did you see that streets of Tarkov should be Koing? I do not go on record talking about Tarkov enough, so the fact that a new chat member just said that is some of the wildest shit, especially since I'm I was AFK. Huh. But they've been following since October 21st, 2020. They must have been just like out there. They must have just been like out there this whole time, catching little tidbits, little snippets. Huh. All right, caves a cut. We're getting the hell in there. The T in tomato stands for Tarkov. Yeah, that's sad. That's 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 sad and untrue and not true. <clears throat> Tarkov is adding tomato town. <laughs> Bro! Hell yeah, dude. Dead brand 2.0. Caves of cut. Get yourselves ready. We're about to have a real good time wandering around the cave lands. Who the fuck is Cud? It's my uncle. Yep. Yeah. It's my uncle. My uncle Cud. So I'm gonna explain what this game is. All right. This game, for the the who may not know who the caves are, or whom Cod may be, uh, this game is a roguelike, a very 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 in depth roguelike, uh, where you play as a fucking weirdo. Think kind of like Cataclysm, but worse. Not in like a bad way, worse, but as in like. In Cataclysm, the worst it could get is, like, psychosis. In this game, the worst it can get is, uh, every single time that I use my mental powers, my brain is so powerful that a guy from an alternate timeline comes in and goes, I want that, and tries to kill you for it. Like, that'll happen instead. Some, every, like, you can, you can have horrible things happen to you. Horrible things. Your own clone fights you for dominance can happen. Can literally happen. Literally will happen. Your own clone will turn around, look at you, and say, But. But I want to be the real one. And then try to kill you. We're going to play classic permadeath, the real deal. Okay? We're gonna play a new character. I said genetic freak, so we're gonna start with a mutated human, which means basically all three of these have uh, these genotypes make you sort of skew towards a different direction. I'm playing with some mods, I'll show them later. <clears throat> but mutated human basically means you get mutations for your character level ups. You get stuff like multiple arms, you can get stuff like a scorpion tail, you can get stuff like my brain is so powerful that I can use it to pick up rocks. Trukin is cybernetics, more like Deus Ex style, you get stuff that's like flamethrower hands instead uh you get more focus on that stuff and like robotics we're gonna do mutated human so the question is chat do we start with a do we start with a boy with a powerful brain right away i mean that's like the best way to explain the game Gilk Merchant. No. <laughs> no, Chad, no. But I could, but it would be... <laughs> the loathsome Gilk Merchant. The loathsome Gilk Merchant. 
plus two ego, short blade, snake oiler, plus 200 reputation with the water barons. Allowed entrance to many settlements for purposes of trade. Starts with trade goods. So chat, ego is your brain power. Uh, water is both the currency of the game and also how you keep yourself hydrated. You need to do both. We'll do water merchant. Pick it. Pick. I don't know. Hang on. There. It's not like me. I think the mods might be causing it to have an issue with picking. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Right? Dude, I changed nothing. Let me in. Oh, I may have to restart. Help. Why is this happening? You freaking broke it. Hang on. Let me rewind. Hang on. Let me also double check nothing re-enabled. Because I'm running very few mods. Oh, there's actually one that needs to be enabled. Hang on. That might be the problem. Hang on, chat. I'm going to reload really quick. Don't play with mods, lol. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I remember asking you. I'll make sure to turn them off. Oh, wait. I didn't ask you. Hang on, now I'm double checking. I don't think I asked you. Okay, yep, yeah, we got it there. Cool, cool, cool. Water merchant. So here's where we pick our genome, our mutations. First we have to keep we have to pick our morphotype. We could be a chimera, which means we'd only manifest physical mutations. Everything would be stuff like big claws, big meaty claws. Esper, which means we'd only be getting Mental mutations. And then unstable genome. Where you gain one extra mutation each time you get this, but the mutations don't manifest right away. Whenever you gain a level, there's a 33% chance that your genome destabilizes and you get to choose from three random mutations. The gamble. This is the cope genome. This is, this is the one where you suffer, and then suddenly you get something crazy that changes everything. The best thing to do, of course, though, first chat is to pick the bad stuff that makes you, uh, totally different, so that you can... You know. So that you can see how many points you actually have to work with. So I'm going to choose... Your skin must be kept moist with fresh water. You pour water on yourself rather than drinking it to quench your thirst. You require two-thirds more water than usual. I don't want to be a frog. That sounds like hell. Brittle bones. I don't want brittle bones. Carnivorous. I don't want that. Cold-blooded. I don't want to be slow. That's like the worst thing that could happen. You involuntarily released electro electromagnetic pulses, deactivating robots and artifacts around yourself. Small chance each round that you're in combat that you release an electromagnetic pulse with a radius of three. Uh, which also includes my artifacts. Uh, hooks for feet. <laughs> you can't wear shoes. Free! Yeah, I got hooks for feet. Yeah, I got little elf shoes for feet. What's up? Yeah, I got weird legs, man. Immunocompromised, your cellular structure is particularly vulnerable to pathogenic and fungal predators. Ah, uh, no. I don't think so. Irritable genome. Your genome is irritable and unpredictable. Whenever you spend a mutation point, the next mutation point you gain will be spent randomly. Whenever you buy a new mutation, you get a random one instead of a choice of three. Impossible. We're not taking that. Muzzle. I don't want a muzzle. Myopic. You can only see... Okay, that's awful. Nerve poppy. You lack a developed sense of pain. You only know your general state of health and not your precise number of hit points. Uh... No, I'd rather... I'd like to know how much HP I have. Thank you. Snake tail. You have no feet and a large muscular tail. Your move speed is reduced by half. You can constrict your enemies and apply damage and hold them in place. You cannot wear shoes. Can I take snake tail and hooks for feet? 
No. No. Plus, I can't take any more than just this one right now anyways. You spontaneously erupt into flames. Small chance each round you're in combat that you spontaneously erupt into flames. Do it. Sick. Sick. Well, chat, let's... Let's take this easy. Maybe there's a way I can get myself a mutation that makes me immune to fire damage. You know? All we have to do is look around. Flaming ray. No, that's just a ray of flaming rays. Uh, quick and hearing. No. Horns. Multiple arms. Eight of them. <laughs> Wait, you can, you can be a spider man. Okay. That would give us some heat resistance. We could be a turtle boy. Turtle boy is an option. We can be a turtle boy. Mental actions have 20% lower action costs and 7% chance per head initially and each round to shake off negative mental stat. I feel like we need to have uh, two heads and or even perhaps three heads. Jet. Even perhaps three heads. Psych, what I meant to say is I want four heads. <laughs> I'm gonna add four heads, so I'm gonna be really good at brain stuff. What about five heads? Sorry guys, no five head. We can't get four heads. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Hydra heads, you have two heads. If one of your heads get cut off, you gain two heads in return. Hmm. Hmm, but what if we, but what if instead of four heads, we double, we, we, we bet on our heads getting cut off? <laughs> Infinite heads. Hmm. Nah, we'll stick with that. Look. The only mutations I'm going to take are ones that actually help my, my character's brain abilities. Which is why I'm going to take an ovipositor. I'm going to periodically lay eggs. <laughs> and those eggs will become one day grown creatures that will follow my my power. Yoshi built. You know me, guys. You <laughs> and you shit on Gonzo. You, got, you guys know me, all right? Wait, we definitely want... We need something to keep guys away from us in melee. I think we take sleep gas. Right? I think we gotta take sleep gas. I think we take sleep gas. When people get near me, I'm gonna gas them. We're gonna give them the gas. Okay, now for the good stuff. Hang on, mental defects. Beep, 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 beep. Amnesia, no. Blinking tick, you teleport uncontrollably. That's suicide. Uh, you're befuddled by technological complexity. You're much worse at examining artifacts. Evil twin, acting on some inscrutable impulse, a parallel version of yourself travels through space and time to destroy you. Each time you embark on a new location, there's a small chance your evil twin has tracked you there and attempts to kill you. Uh. Psionic migraines. You suffer from powerful psionic migraines that render your head extremely sensitive. You can't wear hats or helmets. Quantum jitters. Your willful acts sometimes dent space-time. Whenever you use an activated ability, there's a small chance your focus slips and you dent space-time in the local region, causing one to two space-time vortices to appear. Uh, I'm gonna just stick with what I have because I actually can't take any more debuffs. Your physical form was banished to the Aether forever. You are permanently in the phase. Oh. Ghost boy. Petting a feline creature leaves an imprint on the time flux ley lines, creating a paradox. Plus 400 reputation with cats. Whenever you would die, you are teleported to the last cats you've pet. Dying removes both a level from the mutation and a minus 50 reputation with cats. I'm going to guess if I die, the cat that I pet dies instead. And I take their location. Is what I'm guessing, but that wouldn't be very permadeath, would it?
Your incredible psionic power comes at the cost of overwhelming the stability of your physical form. You are doomed to hunting down physical husk to maintain your tether to this reality, albeit the magnitude of your psionic abilities are of a realm of its own. Uh, minus 400 reputation with highly entropic beings, plus 400 reputation with the Seekers of the Sightless Way. Uh, shunt the imprints of your victims' minds from their body and assume the throne of their vessel. We, that's a later problem. We don't want to worry about psychoplethoric deterioration, okay? We don't want to worry. We don't need to care about that. We have five points to put into something important that we like. I think we do it. We take some, we take, we need a good move. We need a good damaging move. That's what we need. Uh, combustion blast. That's a cool one. Cryokinesis. Okay, light manipulation. Pyrokinesis. Fire's good. Space-time vortex. Uh, we don't really want to fuck with that. Uh, I think sundering someone's mind would be good. We want something we can use regularly, though. Time dilation. Let's try it. Let's, let's grab, uh, try to grab something that's going to actually help us in a fight. Stunning force. We want something that's going to do some damage. Range cooldown. We want something that's high damage, low, uh, cooldown. If we can help. Or, we just take disintegration. <laughs> or we take disintegration. And we just bet on disintegrating whatever's in our way and then taking three turns of rest. Okay, we want to take focus sigh. No, no, we don't. Uh, we want to take... We need one more thing. You, your intricate mind pierces the ley lines of the meta plane into it. Unforeseen knowledge into your piercing gaze. Uh, I'd love metadata knowledge. Vita Intuitia, give it to me now. And then, my last choice. I'm gonna take a mutation, an additional mutation, because I'd like to be. I'd like it if fish liked me. I need to see people's stats, I think. I think that's important to me. Rough scales. No, I think we just take the extra, uh, hang on. Slime. Ah, uh, slime's cool and all, but you know what's even cooler? Uh, having a thick coat of fur just like a baboon. Being uh, like a hairy gorilla guy. No. No. We're gonna take, uh... We're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take the one that just gives us some, uh, yeah, 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 dude. We're gonna take the beak, because that's actually gonna give us more ego, which makes us more powerful. So we're gonna be a four-headed beak boy. Because it actually gives us higher stats. So, we're gonna have, we got, we got, but we got a beak on this one. Disgusting monster. Pump it. My brain! My brain! Hulk! Ego! Determines the potency of your mental mutations, your ability to haggle with merchants, and your ability to dominate the wills of other living creatures. Foreheads! Toughness! Raise that up. Cause that's my health. I'm gonna need some of that. Intelligence. Raise that up. Will. Raise that up. That's how I survive attacks. We'll actually raise that up to 20. Agility. And strength. 10, 10, 16, 16, 20, 26. Looking good. No weapon run, dude. It's called disintegration, motherfucker. Okay. I'm gonna save this build to my build library. 
Uh, this is gonna be named, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, idiot for now. Looking good. The water merchant. We're gonna name him. Uh, it, 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 we're gonna name him, uh, idiot times four, because there's four heads. We're gonna name him idiot times four. All right, name him Gonzo. I don't want to fucking do that. Anyways, we're going to take a random location. We're going to be spawning in the salt marshes, which means we'll start with a pair of crocosins. We're going to start with a pair of crocosins. Shall we? Huh? Cock? Cock, answer me! Cock! Cock! No! It's a good thing I saved my build in case this happened. And that's why you always save your build. Because sometimes when you start this game, it just crashes. <laughs> sometimes the first character load is a instant break. Uh, so we're just going to give that a restart. And then we'll load up the old character. Oh, perfect. He's in my saved last character section. Wait, pet. I want a pet. I want a sent to friend. I want a fucking scent a friend pet. Oh, hell yeah. I demand to go to the salt marshes. Thank you. What even is this game? How about you fucking, like, let me show you? You embark for the caves of Cut. On the 17th of Ubu Ut, you arrive at the village of Subibal. On the horizon, Cud's jungles. Strangle chrome steeples and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises from the fray, above the fray, and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. Piety compels you to deliver your. We'll never know what that person was saying, but here I am. Hello. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure my mental mutation, the disintegration beam, is set to a key. We're gonna put it on one. Yes. Yes, very good. One. Release sleep gas. Three. In gaze so I can detect people's metadata. Two. All right. Well, chat, let's take a look around because currently we are here in the middle of Really close to Joppa, the like quest starting zone. Uh, that's Red Rock. That's like the starter quest area. The Rust Wells. You can go there to get supplies. And far over yonder is that's that big spindle we saw. We're not gonna go to that though. We're gonna take a look around first. We are a level one character and just like level one in something like D&D, we are so pathetic. And we have so little. Hello there. Oh, this is my character's uh, inventory right now. We start with one bronze dagger. Uh, we have our hooks for feet. We have one freeze grenade. And we have four uh, heads. So we have our right head, who has a beak. Our right mid head, which also has a beak. Our left mid head, which also has a beak. And our left head. Can you put armor on each head? I should fucking hope so. Why, hello there. Wanderer, orphan of the salt, hear me. To the north and the west, through the great salt desert, six days still splits the earth in two. Seek there the grandeur of the Shekinah. First among fathers, release yourself from the burden that chrome bears on your sickly flesh. Go now. Uh, what waits for me there, Zealot of the Six-Day Stilt? Deliverance waits for all pilgrims. A 
At the site, you will find a cathedral magnificent in its splendor. There are statues erected in the honor of the Argent Fathers. There are sublime reliefs depicting our most cherished occasions. Here, too, the wisdom of Estrelat to our highest priest and make a donation at the sacred whale. Worship at the light sculpture of the Shekinah himself. You will find other pilgrims among the merchant tents at the stilt grounds, bazaar, other converts and priests. You will be among friends. Sure, I'd love to go check out church. Dude, thanks, man. And then I began to activate my disintegration blast. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna activate Inge's. I'd like to see his stats. She preaches the chromaic gospel of the mechanists. Precious saliva flies from her cracked lips, but she's too wrapped in the music of her words to notice. <laughs> Precious saliva. Chat, there's no hydration in this world. Water is in short supply. It's our financial, it's our financial duty to keep as much hydration in our mouths as possible. Pray it, don't spray it. Exactly. All right, they're not that tough though. Just take a little bit more of a look around. What is this? What are these? There's a creature up above us. It's a four-winged spirit or something. It's docile. It's above me. I can only see its shadow. Hello. Sishwahala, the village tinker. Do you have anything that he's doing? Talk to Mayor Igashum Imukat. The wet to the west. Okay, they're both to the west. I'm gonna head on over to the west and look for the mayor. I'm being followed by a creature. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's my senti friend. He's a square. Well, we have a, we have a, we have our senti friend. He's a, he's a square. Shit in his plates protect his tender heart. And with a gaze of wonder, he peers at the moon. Despite their appearance, giant centipedes are considered sacred by some. They are seen as harbingers of fertility and rebirth. Well, they're a square. That's a cute missing sprite model. Well, hey, you can't win them all, but their stats, they'll be okay. Let's go look for the mayor in town. We have just so much work to do. This town is really formatted miserably though. I don't really, I was just told the guy is to the West. Weapon wreck, can I, uh, this is not owned by you. Do you want to open it? Uh. Not immediately. What's my... Hang on, I need to fucking double check a key mapping. Door. Okay, no. What's the button to close? I guess it'd just be interact or use. No, that just... I need the button to... Why is the game so zoomed in? Because when I have no reason to see everything beyond the walls that fuck up my entire vision, why does it matter? I have control to do that on my own. Nah, E for me is my inventory. Uh, it's fine, it does not matter. Look for the mayor. We just need to find the mayor and then we can get the hell out of here and start actually doing things with our lives. Once we pass all of these encrusted Salt encrusted contraptions and basins and etc. Where is the mayor in this shitty fucking is that a dead goblin? What is this? A large beige mastiff sits perched on stiff front. Oh, that's a fucking that's like a dog. Uh, that's Satama Gamaha, the village apothecary. Uh, and this is the legendary water vine farmer, Irem Nishror. Okay, that's cool. Uh, where- hi. Where's the mayor? Dill? <laughs> the Dromad merchant? Dill! Now that's a guy I need to fucking talk to. Uh, mayor, he's to the east, I missed him. Okay. You wanna trade some shit? Okay, so this is his inventory and this is mine. I was curious about selling my crocosins because I can't wear them. I, uh, I have hooks for feet. I can't wear shoes, so I'm gonna sell my crocosins to him. 
and uh, I'd like you to toss that. That's four dollars and twenty cents. If possible, I'd like to get myself a shield of some kind to protect myself. I have a merchant's token. I think we want to keep that on us. Look, here's the thing. I'd love to sell you uh, my leather moccasins as well, because again, hooks for feet. So I don't really need those. What do you, uh, would you sell anything else here that I should know about? Is that a portable beehive? Hmm. Hmm, can I, uh, can I take a look at that? Bees crawl over the back-mounted slatted rack. A few more dart around nearby. That would give me a plus 200 reputation with flowers. If I was wearing that on myself. It even has honey in it. Bees love the beehive. But unfortunately, all I really want to do is sell my, my moccasins and crocusins. And uh, get myself, I don't know. That shield. Just a normal old buckler. Very good. Very good. Have a good life, man. I'm gonna equip this. Yeah, toss that on me. See, we've got plenty of water because we are a trader after all. So we have plenty of water. Let me take a look at this merchant's token. A silver shekel stamped with the profile of King Haberdash. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna equip that so everyone knows that I'm, I mean business. Where the hell's the mayor? <laughs> mayor! Oh, without my torch equipped, I can't even see. Hang on. Left arm. I'll re-equip the torch. For now. Just so I can see. Oh. Dude, cool fucking screenshot, dude. Now where's that fucking mayor at? Mayor. It's impossible to navigate so much of this map because it's all... Hang on. Why are my di- my, why are my- Oh, my numpad was off, that's why. I was wondering why I couldn't move. I pressed numpad. The machine command- I don't really like looking at whatever's going on with the machine commanding someone in the distance. That's just a random water fine- water vine farmer. Why are there young fairies here? I'd like to ask this because they were flying around in the sky. Alberta Arputa and Aper Fusaita Fremflengbelnitz? Who knows? Welcome strangers sleeping in our homes, but teach them the virtue of finding the ideal place for napping under the high salt sun. Uh, evidently, no one knows why there's fairies like following people around in the village. We may, in fact, never know. Strange. I'm gonna frolic through the water and try to find the mayor who is. literally not here. Mayor? Oh, hello. Is. Someone being attacked? Mayor? Water vine farmer? Water vine farmer? Caw, 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 caw. Uh. That's a bird. With the name caw, 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 caw. Not who I'm looking for. Water vine farmer. Water vine farmer. Oh, fuck. There we go. Where? Hi. Uh, looking for the mayor. Not really here to socialize much beyond it. Chad, if, it, if worse comes to worse, we're just gonna have to leave without talking to the mayor. I want to get a job, but if uh, if I can't find the guy, I can't find the guy. Hang on, I'm gonna look around here quick. Water vine farmer, don't know him. Zealot of the six days stilt. Ray cat, the hired and hired guard. Uh, okay, that's a hot- Yoshi Renaz, fervent pupil of the Scythe Strike Ryu and hired guard. Okay, Yoshi, fucking chill. Do you know where the mayor is? Horned chameleon, hired guard. Yashrasha Shroom! I'm gonna talk to that guy. I don't know if that's my guy, though. Is that my guy? Excuse me. My services are available if you have work to offer. Dude, fucking Mayor Yigashum. Where is he? Mayor! Mayor, please, man. 
That guy looked like he was the guy. Mayor? What if the mayor's sealed in this like tomb? I'd never find him. Mayor? Could that be? Oh, he's just in the middle of the water, stranded in this pond. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, I thought for a second I had the telepathy thing and I could have talked to him with my brain this entire time from anywhere in the map. Never mind. May the earth yield for us this season. Do you have any work? Adventurer, you are. Are you acquainted with the hallowed clay oven at Shamosish? It is a pure altar for us. Often we make pilgrimage to cook at it and contemplate the finding, finding the ideal place for napping under the high salt sun. It would be a favor if you would do the same, will you? We will compensate you for your service. Yeah, sure, I can. I'll cook at the hollowed clay oven as you ask. He just wants me to cook a meal at an oven. I can fucking do that. All right, chat. It doesn't have to be a good meal. That's a, that's a thing. All right, so now we know the location of Shuzaumish. Now, Mayor, I'd also like to ask you, um, if, uh, you want to do a water ritual with me. I, I water ritual with this village. Because I wanted to, I, what would, what, chat. Naturally, of course, these people quite like me. Why would I not ask them if they're already asking me to go on a pilgrimage to cook their precious, delicious meal? Uh, as like part of their religion or whatever if I also learned uh, how to make donuts uh, their donuts so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to teach me their donut recipe so I know how to make donut in this shari meat now when the time comes I can make them a delicious donut okay now we can make them a delicious donut just like they asked of course, I don't actually know the recipe, uh, specifically yet. Oh, here it is. Donut. There we go. We can make that any time we want, as long as I believe we have the meat. So, let's take a look around. Where is it that we're actually going? Rusted archway. Oh, there's Shazalmish. We just have to go up to the northeast to Shazalmish and then cook something. A simple journey. A simple journey. Unless everyone here hates me. We gained a skill level from uh, exploring. Because all we had to do for this quest was just go somewhere. So we level up. And we discover in the dead of night. Oh, here we go. Hello. Are you friendly? Wet leech. Alright, they're cool. We're cool. Everything's cool. Does anyone know where that... Oven is. I'm looking for a clay oven. That's all just salt. Hello there. Wet leech. Friendly. Or so I could assume. That must be it. Chat, look! Look! The salt encrusted hollowed clay oven! There it is, dude! We just have to go up there and cook at it! Okay. I could eat mala soup, or I could whip up- I'm gonna whip up a meal. Easy. I rummaged for ingredients, and I found a golden pebble, a blade of grass, a nip of chrome, and a sprinkle of clay, and I made food out of that. And that leveled me up to three, baby. And you know what's the thing? I didn't have to do a goddamn fucking thing. Alright, easiest thousand XP of my goddamn life. Leveling up to three. And now I guess we could pop over and see what kind of horrible mutations I received as a guy with fucking unstable genome. Alright, because that's the whole reason we were doing this, because it's free XP and we are pathetic and can't do a fight. Alright, for the record, that's Caves of Cud. We are pathetic. We can't do a fight yet against most people. A monkey could huck shit at my head so hard I die. Okay. Alright. So. 
We can get a new random mutation if we level up one more time. And I do think that's the play. I don't really want to level up anything yet. I think we want to save for a little bit longer. Unless we really want to level up Disintegration. Which we can't because we're not high enough level yet. But you are always pathetic, Tomato. Ah, uh, quiet. We're gonna level up some skill points though while we're here. Cause we do have a bunch of those. We have like a couple, we have like a hundred of those. So we're gonna go ahead and invest in some skills instead. At least then we won't be as pathetic. So I'm reckoning we invest in, uh, let's see here. If I had to, if I had to invest in something for, like, you know, if I wanted to invest in something powerful, I reckon I would invest in meditation. No. Tactics? Governing? No. We don't want to get into governing yet. Tactics? Tactics, perhaps? Learn how to throw- No. Shield? We did buy a shield. It'd probably be good if we knew how to block with a shield. As long as you wield a shield, there's a 50% chance you block one of the melee attacks per round. Learn how to do taxes. I don't want to do that. Yet. What if we got into cooking, chat? See, I don't know if any of these, like, specifically, because I'm looking at the stat requirements for them as well. We want to get into something that uses our ego, if possible, but I don't think there's much that does, aside from persuasion. And we're still short some points for that. We need to save up more time to get those. I think we save points, because if we get a little bit more, then we can get proselytize, which means we can convince someone to just join our team. I think we just need to... We just gotta get some more levels. Hello. Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. God damn it. I keep hitting the numpad button. And then it makes me take screenshots. By the way, I just want to go ahead and... Did I just accidentally uh, disintegrate myself? Who did I did? I just cast a disintegrate. And I think I did it on my center friend. Yo, are you good? Center friend? They're fine. You released sleep gas. That's not possible. Why is my disintegrate focused? Hang on. I need to confirm what this is doing. My disintegrate keeps dropping directly on my character. Dude, I found this huge pit of bits. It had a no trespassing sign with a red tomato on it. Weird, this is all I could get. Hopefully this helps. Hey, thanks Sentry One for the 10,000 bits. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Really kind of you. Really kind of you. Why'd you give him that voice? Uh, quiet. I need to focus. Why is my disintegration not picking a target? I'm, I keep shooting center friend by accident. Why is that happening? Is Disintegrate centered on me in a blast? I thought it'd be a beam. I mean, that's fine. It's not good for Center Friend, though. That's not healthy for Center Friend. Hang on, let me take a look at it here just so I'm sure. Because I don't trust you. <clears throat> Area 7x7 seven seven around self. Okay, that's fine. Now that I know. All right, chat, here's the plan. We are gonna go back to the village to the south. And we're gonna go tell the mayor that we did that job for him. And we're gonna see if we can cash out on doing another job for him because we only need a little bit more to level up again. Oh wait, dude! That's ka 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 I'm gonna ask him if they want to trade. They have nothing to trade. Okay. Is the mayor still trapped in this little thing? Uh, I cooked at the hollowed clay oven. Friend, you have our thanks. Our village owes you a debt. What did you make? Was it like good? Did you make the donuts? Because I like remember you asking me the recipe for the donuts. You made the donuts, right? Because anything else would be nigh blasphemy for my people. Uh, I made a 
bowl of clay with some grass in it. And uh, I think a rock. It was shiny, though. Oh, cool. And that's level four. And now I get to choose a reward. Uh, I can take magnetized boots. I can't wear shoes. Law enforcement security card. <laughs> or structural scanning bracelet. I'm going to take the law enforcement security card. And there we have it. Hang on, I want to take a look at that. Let me just take a look. Let me just look at this a little carefully. A paper-thin access card which will open some doors in the depths of cut. Hey, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. That'll be epic. One day. <laughs> at some point. And now... Hang on. And now... We should have enough skill points to get some cursed bullshit. Uh, you try to terrify adjacent hostile creatures. 1d8 plus ego modifier. Penetration rule. Okay, on success, a frightened creature flees from you for 4d4 rounds. Pretty good. I still think we want to save up for proselytize, though. Do I have enough mutation points now to get a mutation? We do. Everyone buckle up! Here we go! We're gonna add a mutation to the board! We are about to get freaky! choose a mutation. Mental mirror. You reflect mental attacks back at your attackers. When you suffer a mental attack while mental mirror is off cooldown, you gain plus four mental armor. If the attack then fails to penetrate your mental armor, it's reflected back at the attacker. Multiple arms. You have an extra set of arms. Four of them. 10% chance for each arm to deliver an, ex an additional melee attack whenever you make a melee attack. Burgeoning. You cause plants to spontaneously grow in a nearby area, hindering your enemies. Feels like plant one. Feels like plant one. Mirror, mental mirror is not going to come up for a while. You don't run this many Psy characters. But having the ability to slow down things. That's like fuck with our enemies seems really good. Although if we got multiple arms, each one of those arms could carry an extra shield. Hmm. 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 We have so much ego, it's not right to not invest in ego skills. You know what I mean? We're going to take burgeoning. Fuck! We didn't get anything extra. Why didn't you hit- Why? <laughs> but I have an unstable genome, dude! Fuck! What's the point if I'm not getting totally freaky? Well, let's add burgeoning to my skill list. Four. And let's also take a look at how it works. We'll go up north to this clearing. Whoa! What's that? The thirst thistle dies. Okay, that's fine. But then three hidden lurking Beths all died. Yo, who the fuck is lurking Beth? Who? Prickler. <laughs> a bulbous snack of plant. It's friendly. I think I made these things grow by using it. Remember, the plants all like me, and I made them grow because it adds growth. Hello. Good sir. What may I call you, friend? You may call me Hagra. Thanks, friend. You want to trade? What do you sell? Uh, nothing of value to me. Uh, well, goodbye. I'm gonna ask the mayor if he's anything else for me to do. Really quick. Uh, I'm looking for work, dude. Find Satamamga to the east. God fucking damn it. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Does anyone know where Satamamga is? I'm an I'm idiot times four, friend. That's for sure not who I'm looking for. Uh, is there work to do around here? He's still- Guy's still to the east. Is it you? Dill? No, you're not the guy. Alright, they've gotta be in the far east. I reckon they're in here. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's Kaka Kaka. What about you? Watervine, what's your name? 
No, 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 no. What's your name? Shushmarok. That's not it. Watervine Farmer. What's your name? C. Mu. G. Okay, not it. He's got to be even farther to the east. That's him. That's got to be. Yay, wake the fuck up! Ha, ha, ha! You're the guy, man! Are you the guy? What's your name? My name's Quat! Alright, fuck off then. Shishwarla? To the west, stop to my god, to the east! Oh my god. Chat, bad news. They're actually farther to the east now. Wait, 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 hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I fuck that up? Did I read the wrong thing? Hello, what's your name? Fell up? No, 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 I need to talk to this guy. Is it work around here? Sata Maga to the west. God damn it. Who the fuck is this guy? Hang on. Is that him? Now come back here. That's the mayor. <laughs> Dude. I should have talked to him right there. He would have told me the direction of the guy. Hang on, I'm sensing something. Wake the fuck up. What's your name? Southwest. He's in this section. That or he's this guy. No, that's Kushwala. We know Kushwala. He's right here. He's gotta be in this, like, house. And I missed him. The fuck is this? Dude, <laughs> where is this? It's the fucking dog. It's the goddamn dog. It's the dog. It's the dog, dude. It's the fucking dog. It's the dog? Yeah, the dog's got a fucking job if you can find him. I'm looking for work. Wanderer. Wanderer, have you been introduced to the hookah of the sanctified blessing at Moonhold? It's an angelic altar to us. Often we make pilgrimage to smoke from and contemplate finding the ideal place for napping under the high sun. You guys spend a lot of time doing shit for prayer at places that aren't nearby so you can contemplate where to best nap. Matter of fact, the mayor said the same thing. Would it, I, it would be a comfort if you would do the same. Can you please go get high and then nap for me and I'll give you XP? No, I will not. No, I will. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that. Let's go. Hang on. So, uh, whereabouts would this be? Is that, uh, this one? Moonhold. There we go. Alright, we're going north. <laughs> Alright, chat. Here we are in... Uh... Hey, is this... Excuse me, sir. Is this Moonhold... Because this looks like a fucking pig farm. That's a pig farm. What's your name? They call me Neun. What do you sell? Pig? Okay. What's your name? You hang on. <laughs> hang on. What's your name? They call me Zahiga. Okay. All the pigs have names in this world, chat. That's, that's real. So, uh... Yo, you guys got a hookah thing going on? <laughs> What? I feel like I need to go farther north. I think I meant what the fuck is this? It's just a dead pig corpse. I mean, I guess it's a pig farm. Of course they're gonna have pig corpses. Hang on. Take me to Moonhold. This is Moonhold. Where's the Where's the hookah? I was told specifically that there'd be a hookah thing nearby. That's a table. I might have to start killing people until I get what I need. Have you been hiding it? Are you hiding it, Noon? The fuck is it? They're ho they're hiding it from me. They have to be. If I go any farther north, I'm not gonna see it. Nah, this is Moonhold. I just left and that was a different fucking area. Where is it? Check my journal. Maybe maybe I maybe I've done something wrong. Quests. Smoke from the hookah at the sanctified of the sanctified blessing. Where is it? They wouldn't give me the wrong address. Someone's hiding something from me. Nah, dude, I'll fucking kill everyone that lives here, man. I will I will rip them up. 
Maybe it was that blue block. Hang on, I'm gonna check that corner. Hang on, who's that? Hey, does any of you guys know? Uh, that's Zahiga. Hey. Do you know where the who- Do you have a hookah thing going on nearby? What a specific quest. Hang on. Graffitied pigskin wall. This might be a hint. <laughs> Hang on, we might be onto something. This is a tanned hide of pig stretched over two poles of brine stock. Graffiti scrawled across the surface. It reads, in I, what I can only assume is other words, the atmosphere is very commendable. This gives me nothing. This gives me nothing. Where the fuck is the hookah? Hey. Let me talk to the dog. You pet the herding dog. That's not helpful. Am I gonna have to blow all these people up? Am I gonna have to get ridiculous? I'm not... Dude. Chat, this is bad. I trap... Lucky for the people who live here, I found what I was looking for. Because otherwise, it was disintegration time. I smoke from it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Disintegrate! Get the fuck out of here. I discovered some forgotten ruins. Wait, but I... Wait, but I... <laughs> where am I? No, I just wanted to leave. I didn't want to stop at the forgotten ruins. Their religion, what they don't know won't hurt them. Someone else broke that. The sacred hookah is broken. The pact is, the pact is ruined. Chat, first of all, chill. Second of all, uh... I don't know where I am. Either way, I just have to return. Where? Who is that? Slimy fin giant amoeba. It's average power. My centipede is approaching it. He's winning the fight. He's injured. He's oozing. And I'm... I'm gonna help out too, alright? I'm not an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna do what I do best in this situation. I'm gonna make sure I'm uh, set menacing stare to like six on my board. I'm in a menacing stare, this guy. He resists becoming afraid. He's still... Oh, we got him. We got him. My centipede friend is doing a lot of work. It's gonna be really sad when he's dead. He's also invisible still, so we can only really track him by his position. Uh, in, like, nearby others. Dude, is there a way I can just tell my centipede friend to, like, go home? You know? Like, how do I- I just want to talk to him and be like, hey... Man. Maybe, like, hang out somewhere else. I don't want to kill him. I wish you understood me, my many-legged friend. <laughs> well, fuck! Then what do I do? I just, I just confirms he can't understand me! Okay, well... We have a friend. I'm gonna level up if we kill a couple more of these slimes, so I'm gonna do it. Am I getting shot at by frickin' flowers? Holy shit, they do six damage. I'm just gonna let Santa Friend get them. And I'll just kinda hang out here. Cause he's just... I leveled up. Uh, I leveled up, that means I get my- that means I get my extra mutations. Is that precog? Hold up. Is that freaking precog? You peer into your near future. You may activate this power, then later revert it to the point in time when you activated it. Or, phasing. You may phase through solid objects for brief amounts of time. Or, chitinous skin. 
We just got quick saving, baby. Literally can't die build. Hey, look. I leveled up to five too. And my genome got excited, which means I get to choose a physical mutation to rapidly advance because obviously I'm an RNG build and I'm getting very lucky right now, which means I can pick to add another power to my head. I can make my heads even more powerful, which I will. Whoa, you rapidly advanced four headed by three ranks to rank four. My brains, <laughs> they're growing. What does that mean? It means, it fucking means my mental actions have a like 66% lower action cost. Okay. Which means it does not take much energy at all for me to use disintegrate. It does not take much at all for me to do something ridiculous. And we're very close to getting pros prostatized. And then, things are about to get a little silly. How's my centipede doing? Because he's been doing all the work. He's injured. Hey man, well, hey, I'm getting hungry too anyways. Maybe I make us a camp. And we, uh, you know, kick it. Kick it for a little, huh, Square? I'm gonna whip up a meal. I gather some fixing, a glow crow feather, a dash of venerable cinnamon, some dog thorn, and some dog hair, and I eat them. All right. How how are you feeling now, man? Any better? Still injured. Well, we can take it easy until party's healed. Holy shit, you're injured as hell. But are you good now? Perfect. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm gonna keep looting this place. It's good loot. Minus all of the slime. Minus all the horrible slime getting tracked in and around. Wait. People live here. There's people sleeping here. Bedrolls. And books. Freezing water, first edition. Time and he mimics speech, fifth edition. Take all of them. Books sell. We steal those. No living guys that would use the beds. Oh, uh, let's see. That's a vase. Destroy it. Yeah, really. Attack it again. Attack it again. Attack it again. Critical hit. Attack it again. Attack. All right, that's take. It's taken a little while, but my center people finished the job for me. He defeated it, as he should. Hello. What just happened? Oh, I saw an arrow. A uh, glass bottle with 16 drams of wine. We're just gonna take the bottle. We're gonna steal. We're gonna steal the alcohol. So far, though, nothing out of the ordinary. Lots of slime, but nothing. Nothing dangerous. Just a uh, some normal old ruins by the looks of things. Let me open the side bar. That's a slimy two-headed boar. This is what we call a GG moment. Are you sleep gas? Take a little nap, you freaking idiot. Yeah, don't come across the sleep gas. I don't see where the pig went, but he's still around and nearby, but the sleep gas which I ejected has created a safe barrier between me and the pig. I believe my centipede may have dispatched it. The gas is- the gas is still- Oh, I can hear them. Centipede killed him. 150 HP. Or XP. Yeah, I got sleep gas. I'm not- Oh, yeah, here's the body. Yep. Yeah. There's a body underneath this. It's covered in slime. We'll go ahead and clean that off. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, we're going to go ahead and get it. I'm overburdened. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, go into my inventory and drop it. And by going to my inventory and drop it, I mean I'm going to eat it. Never mind, I'm just going to drop it. 
but I thought about it. We're going to take a little bit more of a look around. We need as much XP as possible, so... The giant amoeba has begun to ooze. As it Dude, are you fucking sure? <laughs> My brother in Christ, I have disintegration. Are you fucking sure? A mass of quivering gelatinous slime. You barely perceive the outline of something inside. One more step closer and it's disintegration time! What did I fucking say was gonna happen? Did I fucking stutter? Did I fucking stutter? Did I say... That I was- What did I say I was gonna do? I get up. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, looks like this guy got turned into fucking goo. It's not even possible to- Oh, he's dropped a slimy slime gland. Yeah, I'll be, uh... I'll be taking the slimy slime gland, thank you. That's a little fun little gift for me. For a job well done today. Nothing in this. I guess I should probably swing back towards the, uh... Towards that village and tell them that I destroyed that hookah pipe that they use for, uh, prayer. Huh. Yeah. Come on, let's just wade through all this horrid slime and get the frick out of here. Come on, chat. We gotta go back to the village again. I'm lost. Rega okay, chat. This is the worst thing that could fucking happen to us right now. I found Hashkasquar at Shire. Okay, this isn't as bad as it could have been. I'm lost, but I do know that I'm at a Shire. A Shire, chat. So anyways, first thing I'm gonna do before I enter anywhere now is uh, make sure that precog is set to something. We're gonna set precog to O. So if, if anything comes at me ever, be precog. I'd like to take a look around. Star apple trees. We love star apples. This is a, the, the apple farmer's daughter. Oh, she doth pale red apples by her cheek. That cheek which doth proclaim the right of spring. And heretofore hath nature's grand technique. Near ripened lips so red from which to sing. Be gone, false son. I know thee for a fraud. Her fairest skin illuminates the day. All gold is brass and every jewel is flawed. When set aside the sums her eyes might pay, the spindle, which from Omon porch descends, must surely be her likeness brightly wrought. And as a likeness she fails to apprehend the artless beauty that its makers sought. Did I know love or beauty? No, for shame, for I knew neither till they spoke her name. Dude, who asked? You fall in love with the farmer's daughter? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 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 it's gonna really set me back. What does that mean for me? I've got an actual stat now. Oh no, hang on, let me just check. Active effects. Lost? Okay, you gotta be kidding me! I have to kill her. <laughs> I've been debuffed. I've been debuffed to like actual like just This is a massive debuff. I have to kill her. I, I I'm simping. I'm simping too hard. I, I have horny brain now. Alright, come on. Babe! Hang on, how I'm seeing like I gotta just check quickly. Hostile average. Wait. Apple Farmer and Kudzu Symbiote. Wait, is this guy like taken over by Kudzu? This brawny mustachioed man wears a white apron stained with the juice of star apples. His sable hair mats against the brown skin of his forehead. From his forearm hangs a wet rag with which he scrubs the dirt from his hands every few moments. Parasites. You ask about your location and are no longer lost. 
What's your name? My name's Kura Yur. Nice to meet you. Uh, you have anything to trade? Arrows and some vine wafers. All right, lady. So here's the problem. Okay, is I'm like madly, madly in love with you. Uh, and that means I gotta kill you. So I'm just gonna check your stats first. Ego is 20. He's got some powerful psionic power. Damn it! She's an incredibly powerful psionic wizard! <laughs> now you're pissing me off. Activate precog. <laughs> the game mysteriously saves. All right. I'm precogging. <laughs> everything that happens now is simply chat. To be clear, NRP. Everything that happens now until I decide otherwise, uh, is just my guy thinking about it. Bro? Bro? Sentiment? Sentiment? <laughs> she died too. Good. I pick up the body. I eat. <laughs> Sent a friend. I make plants. I think I killed them both. Well, your precognition is about to run out. Would you like to return to the start of your vision? Uh, yeah. Sweep. So, good news. I'm not going to use disintegrate. You, your left mid-head helps you shake off being lovesick. Wait, this is so cool. So, chat, the reason we're breaking this so easily is because we have four heads to de like get rid of the debuff. So, our left mid-head was like, guys, she's, she's not that big of a deal. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to, uh, give her a menacing stare, I believe. But first, I'm gonna initiate precog again. Ah, uh, it's five hundred. She's leaving. No, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I know where I live now. I know where I am. Kinda wanna steal some star apples before I go. Wait, someone's fighting. I'm sorry, are you lunging at me? Hostile. Oh yeah, he is of course uh, a parasite. He, I forgot he's um he's currently uh, taken over by a parasite. You touched his apples. Ah, uh, you broke her heart. Where's where's uh where's centipede buddy right now? If he's not nearby, I'm about to disintegrate. This guy. I don't see him. Hey, I'll see you later, alright? HE LIVED! That wasn't actually as much damage as I thought it would be. And now my Santa buddy is here. And this guy is injured. Is the girl running after us too to fight? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Uh, I cast overgrowth on that. Wow, that's some scarier plants than I remember. Uh, best of luck to you, lady. Because that's uh, feral uh, laws. Standing taller than a snap jaw and three times as wide, the blossom of the feral law resembles a bundle of fleshy, severed, salt back tongues. L! Enjoy, enjoy the L. Uh, enjoy the L. And now I'm gonna use, uh, menacing stare. Or at least I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm gonna scare him. He's afraid of me. Holy shit. I think they ate the girl. Yeah, she got eaten. 
I think everyone bit her. Every single creature there uh, bit her one time and ripped her to shreds. No! Sent it, friend! Maybe they were just not long for this world to begin with. Look, chat. We're a, we're a precognitive creature. Sent a friend is gone. But their memory lives on. In us now. Yo, kill everyone that lives in this uh, farm. Except for the dog. The dog can stay. Go get him, boys. <laughs> yeah, boys. Fucking get him. Good shit. So these are tumbling pods racing across the ground at alarming speed. The brittle uh, rhizome pod digs in the dirt with its thorns and seeks media vessels to explosively gift with its genetic material. Don't come near me. You guys stay the fuck away from me. Hey, don't come any closer. I don't want to be gifted with your genetic material. Okay. Well, where's the dead bodies? Oh, it still has star apples to take. Hey, doggy. Sorry about... Sorry about your whole family. Good doggy. Wait, what's your name? You can call me Solb. Alright, man. You want to trade? No, I don't got anything. Okay. I can't believe this whole place was taken over by these, like, fucking symbiotes. I can't believe I had to kill everyone here. Disintegrate. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. So I can actually use disintegrate to, like, smash right through walls and stuff. Like, you can disintegrate everything. Oh, hey. What is this? Is this, uh... That's a human corpse? Yeah, that's, um... That is the guy. Well, I'm gonna take his cider. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take his wide-brimmed hat. I'm gonna take his woven tunic. And his furs. Yeah, those things are my things now. Yeah, we're gonna equip the bark armor. Yep. Yeah. Because we don't really want the slime-stained woven tunic anymore. Yep. Yeah. We're also gonna equip a, uh... Slime... Should I investigate this slime gland? Deploy gland. Well, I don't want to deploy the fucking gland, to be honest. Well, let's just not deploy the gland. Alright, so which one of the heads gets the fun hat? Wait, which one was it that got us through the love sickness? Was it right midhead? Was it right midhead that was like, nah, dude, get out of there. He gets a wide brimmed hat. <laughs> Left midhead. Fuck. Left mid-head gets the wide brimmed hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. All right, guys, you all have a good day. Thanks for the help, by the way. <laughs> that was just... Chat, that was just a place I, like, accidentally found. Uh, anyways, let's go hand in the quest. Hey. Where's, uh, where's the doggy? I can't believe you ruined the Shire. The Shire was ruined by symbiotes. That had nothing to do with me. I was just defending myself. Also, there was like a, like the farmer's daughter was like, kind of like, had me distracted. I had to, I had to, I had to keep my wits about me in that dangerous scenario, you know? Hey, so I got the hookah thing. Traveler, you have a thank. You've proven yourself a friend of our village. Take this recoiler and return whenever your throat is dry. Welcome strangers sleeping in our homes. But teach them the virtue of finding the ideal place for napping under the high south sun. My thanks, friend. Nice. So I receive a subidol subiel recoiler and I finish the quest. Are you seeking more work, friend? Recently, we came into the possession of a data disk bearing a peculiar stamp and encoded with a strange signal. The signal means nothing to us, but there's a sect of tinkers called the Barathrumites who might be interested in it. They are friends to our village and often trade for the scrap we tow out of the earth. Would you carry the disk to their enclave at the Grit Gate? In exchange for the delivery, you may seek an apprenticeship with them. If you're interested, take the disk now and travel safely. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. 
Take it to the grit gate? I can go to the grit gate if it's not too far. Where's the grit gate? That's a rusted archway, not the grit gate. Motherfucker, where's the grit gate? You better not be saying the grit gate's like out here. Cause that's hell. I can't, I, I will not live out there. It's gotta be here. Hang on, we'll look it up like this. Uh, journal settlements. The quest might have it, the quest detail. Travel to the ruined subterranean gate northeast of Jopa. Okay. In this game, I never ID'd where Jopa was. So I guess it's... I guess it's the rusted archway. Oh, it's the giant... It's this one. Okay, fine. All right, I'll be right back, and then we'll... I guess we're going to the grip gate. All right, let's fucking go. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. And once we're done at the grit gate, we're gonna go all the way over here immediately. The next destination we're gonna go to is Ein Roge, uh, deep within the moon stairs. What do you guys think? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You discover a secluded domicile. Sweet and savory wafts of air bellow from inside. Do you want to investigate? Yeah. I found the kitchen of Kishrorok. Umo met the legendary chef. That's gonna level me up, baby. Before I do that though, I did level up and that means I want to put some character points in. We're still a little bit away from getting a new mutation, but we have enough skill points now to trick people into joining us. Oh no, we have to get persuade. We have to unlock the fucking persuasion tree first. Shit. All right, we're one more level away from getting that. And then everything changes. Where's the chef? Down here. I don't know if I should be going down here. This guy is a legendary chef, but he may not be a friendly legendary chef yet. This guy might not be a friendly legendary chef is the problem. We should probably precog. They're all- look at all these chests. What if he's a- what if he doesn't like- What if he doesn't like people just coming into his ki- Hello? Kishirak Umumet, legendary chef, he's sleeping. Pastes and jams of various colors smear her apron like a painter's palette. Flower dusts her broad, dough kneading knuckles. Loved by the Merchant's Guild. I'm a merchant. Technically. Ah. Uh, wake him up. Hello. They're still friendly. Finest food for parasangs. Finest food and could. Recipes and samples. Let's do the water ritual. That's gonna make him like me. 
and it's gonna make the uh the newly sentient beings dislike me but that's okay okay so now i'm talking with them we're doing some rep stuff i would like uh to share a secret with you I could teach them my recipe. We're going to exchange recipes, chat. I'm going to teach them the recipe for the donuts that I learned. It's going to increase uh, my rep with the Merchant's Guild. Now I'm going to ask them to share a recipe with me. Uh, rumor is that a child stole some canned have it all from the villagers of Shazor. Hey, I taught you a secret fucking recipe and you told me that a kid stole a can. Okay, well, I'm also going to ask me, uh, teach me to cook one of your signature dishes. Which one was it? Chef Kishork shares the recipe for Chef Kishork Uno Mets. Did they give me a recipe that's just a, like, just a name? Wait, what's this? Chef Kishirok Un Momet's creature's name physical. Can I see? What is what is this? Crisp pages of goat skin vellum are bound into a codex. Is this their like? Is this like? I guess this is part of their recipe. They got a lot of shit here. They're also selling. They also have merchant tokens. I mean, I'm a merchant. I have a merchant token. Maybe that's why we're friends. Well, Chef, I hope you have a good one. I'm going to go to the other side of their house and try to steal some of their things. What's, what is, uh, hang on, can I get a look at what convalescence is? A vessel of exquisitely blown glass. The style hints that it originates from the coast of the fuming god sea. Oh, I don't care about any of that shit. What's in the bottle? Oh, I discovered the home of cooks. That's cool. Okay, I discovered like eight locations because I looked at the fucking engraving on it. I don't want any of the convalescents. Nothing in there. Oh, they don't care if I take this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take the Fuller Right Club. I mean, I might just sell some of this stuff to them. Stuff in some of these chests. This is like a friendly, like, home. Right on, I'm gonna help myself. To the shit in their house. I've never seen Fullerite before. I feel like that's good. 2d6 on a club? Well, if I was going to use a melee weapon, I would like to do one that's more than one no d. <laughs> I'd like to do the one that's uh, one. Uh, I'd like to get rid of that. Oh, hello. Hulking baboon. I'm watching you, traveler. What about the other guy? Maybe those are the, her, her bodyguards. Two drams of gel. Okay, I'm gonna activate precog, but that wasn't precog. That was my disintegrate. I need to rebind disintegrate somewhere else. Uh, let's put it on eight because it doesn't have an aim, which means it activates the second you click it, which is not ideal. Good news is, I didn't hit anyone. So they don't care. <laughs> Good news is, no one cares. So I'm just gonna take that whole chest. If anyone comes after me, I'm gonna make a scene. And really just start screaming. Probably summon some plants and then get the fuck out of there. Nothing in that. Would you like to store an item? No. Can I go drop my chest? Uh, drop this. Nothing in it. Bark armor, slender cloth robe. No. Don't really care. Yeah, I mean, at least I didn't kill anyone. That's good. That could have been really bad. That could have gotten a little fucked up. We're still cool? 
Cool, cool, cool. They're sleeping. Even. Nothing. I guess we'll leave. Yeah, I guess I got everything. Okay. I mean, I'm not about to fight this person, so, uh... I might quickly kill these fucking, uh, bugs, though. How much health do they have? Average? Activate. Precognition. And then, activate disintegration. All right, that got me some XP. Here comes another one! Activate! Plant move! You know, whenever I do the plant move, I start to worry. Also, the uh, some of it lit on fire, which is bad. Some of the plants are fire plants. And also, the, the, uh, the dragonfly flew right over it. Yeah, get him. Get him. <laughs> get him, my plants. Fight them! Whoa. Something's making stuff explode. Your precognition is about to run out. Would you like to restart your vision? Uh, no, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing fine. What is that? Aloe Pyra. Oh, it shoots fire. And then it burns down. Well, chat, I don't see why we wouldn't. You discover a lair, would you like to investigate? Yeah. The lair of Doe-FO Legendary Snapjaw Warrior. Anyways, I'd like to leave. I don't really want to check out the lair. Uh, if it's of a legendary Snapjaw Warrior. Kind of want to check out Red Rock because it would level me up the rest of the way if we killed a bunch of stuff in Red Rock at level 6. We'd probably be okay. Maybe we take a peek at Red Rock? I'm gonna make a camp. You can't cook with hostiles nearby. Monkey. All right, we leave. A monkey just hooked a rock at me. We're gonna leave. We're gonna cook food here in the middle of the... You guys aren't owned. I look, I'm not owned. To be clear, you guys are owned. Uh, I'm not owned, you're owned. I'm gonna start my precog. <laughs> and then I'd like it to, I'd love to make it clear that you guys are owned, not me. Disintegrate. Get the fuck out of my face. Gonna spawn me in next to a bunch of people. Sounds like a them pro- Some, A bullet just flew by my head! Oh wait, no, it's just that guy. Uh, I use plants. The plant move is so good. That basically, it's basically like summoning an army. Okay. Y'all think I can make a uh, campfire yet? Your precognition is running out. Would you like to return to the start? No, I'm good. Some, there's fighting happening, but by the time that it matters, I mean, I've got sleep gas still. Sappy Snapjaw is overwhelmed by terror. I'm waiting to see something that's going to actually come at me. Hostile, average, injured. Yeah, we're going to blast him with the menacing stare now. Uh, he's scared. He's going to run back away. I'm hoping the math adds up that I will have burgeoning before anything that wants to attack me. See, oh god, does the dragonfly still know I'm bad? No, they're fine with me. They're attacking the plants. Uh, is that piss? No, nah, that's sap. There is a fight happening, but that's mainly because uh, feral laws, which are friendly to me, are very aggressive to everything else. So this thing spawned and... Bud, are you fucking dumb? Bud, are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking sure, my guy? Ah, uh, well, I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to summon another big old pile of plants right here, bud. Good luck. Oh, would you look at that? 
Would you look at- Can I make my camp now? Hell yeah, I fucking can. You guys all hang out. I'm gonna cook up some grub. Yes, siree. Yes, siree. I don't- I need the cooking and gathering skills so I can actually use my recipes. But I did gain some toughness for the day. Alright. Now that we're all... Understanding each other. Okay. I'd really like to do Red Rock, actually. If possible. It's just one monkey. Impaled! Alright, the monkey's dead. The other monkeys are, uh, getting bopped. And exploding. <laughs> the jilted lovers are scary c well, the, whatever the bomb ones are are scary, because if they roll towards me, they'll kill me too. They've done damage to me. But we're gonna clear out the monkeys... ...slowly. The bomb. Look, that's like fucking so much damage. They're just fanning out to go <laughs> They're hunting down all the gorillas! Okay, they're chill. Everything's cool, everything's cool. Everything's fine. Red Rock is kind of dangerous. Why do I think I'm here at level 6 and not level 2? When most people go here the first time and realize it's dangerous. I'm keenly aware it's dangerous. Which is why I'm being very careful. But, I also know there's a lot of stuff to kill in here that'll level me up. I want this monkey pro What is that? Did I make that? Livid creeper. Oh, that thing is very tough. That's a high level animal. Hey man. What's up? I get scary. The baboon runs away, directly towards the creeper. Who then grabs him and uh, breaks his neck by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, that baboon got grabbed. Okay, uh, well. I'm gonna wait for my burgeoning to come back. Oops. Hi! Hello! Little cave spider. Did the creeper follow me down? Holy shit, we have a wall fight. The creeper's killing everything. It's time. We leveled up. The creeper is following the walls and hitting things for 25 damage. This snapjaw scavenger is described as trivial to me. I even I don't even think I have time to care right now. I'm just going to go ahead and look at my like unlocks. 5 mutation points, it's time. It's just some little guy. Like, a, like we got the equivalent of, a like, a, a crundle from Dwarf Fortress just ran out of the fucking, like, woods. All right. Uh, it's time. We buy a new random mutation. Holy shit. Is that the ovipositor? I was worried this would happen. You could periodically lay eggs and spawn drones of yourself who will do your bidding. Following a three-month gestation period, you may lay eggs that develop into drones that take on aspects of yourself at the time they were laying. Or... Psychomateriardis. Conjure your thought stuff and materialize weapons as sharp as your mind. Materialize psionic weaponry. Psionic weapons gain bonus penetration and critical to your ego modifier and the mutation's ego magnitude. Psionic arms are bonded to its wielder, and you may return your first materialized weapon to your hand as long as you're in the same zone as the weapon and it hasn't been destroyed. Yeah, but like... Yeah, but like... Chat, what if I got three extra sets of arms and was like a spider? No, nah, I want eggs, dude. Like, I, I don't want to use melee. Melee is bad for me. I'm not built for that. That's like some Hexblade bullshit. I don't want that. I want to lay eggs. <laughs> arise, my children, arise. Arise.
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we'd probably want to get the sleep thing upgraded at some point, but I'm saving all my mutation points as a result of the fact that we get so much more just by continuing to play that part of the game as we have been. Uh, attribute bonus. Raise it to 29. <laughs> it's all ego, baby, all the time. It's time, by the way. Chat. We can now convince people to join our side by simply talking to them. Hey, man. I know you want to kill me, but have you perhaps considered in this exact moment joining me? Let me put this on OEM minus. Have you considered perhaps the Snapjaw Scavenger is unconvinced by your pleas. He takes a swing at me, I block it with my shield. Bud, are you fucking sure? This was like... This... I, tr I tried to give him peace in our times. I tried to give him peace in our times. I tried. I can't lay an egg for so long. I'm just gonna kill him with my actual melee weapon. Yeah, wouldn't you know it, he has 2 HP. Snapjaw Hunter. Plants. Dead. Plants, kill everyone on the other side of that thing for me. Go on. Get them. Yes. Just gotta be careful of the bomb ones. Prickler. Uh huh. Bat. Hello. It sheaths itself in filmy wings. What's your name, bud? Char and R. Nice to meet you, man. You guys think there's any alive creatures in here? Hey. I cast disintegrate. Yep. <gasps> Some dude just hucked a fucking freeze grenade in my face! <laughs> Who is this guy? He can't even penetrate the armor. Ah! They critical hit me! Dude, you're pretty tough. Do you want to join my team? They're unconvinced by my pleas. I tried. I fucking tried, man. They're afraid of me. They're running. That's a bomb! Dude, burgeoning is not fun anymore if it's gonna blow me up. Burgeoning is not gonna be fun if it's gonna blow me up. Start precog. I'm gonna try to leave and rest. Go up. Okay. I would like... Actually, I guess the safest place to be is actually where I was down here. I think this is the safest place because of the fact that there's plants blocking every direction. We'll rest here really quick. I'm gonna actually make a camp. I'm gonna make a quick camp. Whip up a meal. Have a snack. And then, we'll wait until I'm healed. Ah, uh, no. We're, we're good. We're okay. Okay, so I don't want to do burgeoning too close to me then because it can spawn bomb guys, which will blow up. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna missing stare at this guy and approach him. And now I'll disintegrate both of them. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, I'm not getting much from killing these guys anymore. They're all really low levels, so we do want to get out of here. I thought plants loved me. Why are we not friends? Yeah, we, we really want to do quests because uh, we're not gaining much of it. <laughs> Center buddy, man. Bro.
sleep gas. Yeah. Goodbye. There are hostiles nearby. Where? Apparently they died because I got 125 XP. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to go to the grit gate, Jet. But first I'm going to check out the rusted archway. Livid creeper. This guy's friendly. I've been getting followed by creepers on the walls. They love me. What about you? That prickler's hostile. Giant hog! I feel like I'm good, but I'm on a precog because I'm scared of everything. That's a giant fucking hog right there! Okay, we won. What is going on? That's a honey skunk. I mean, they're fine with me. Oh, uh, what is going on? That's corrosive gas. Dude, get the fuck away from me, pig. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's like actual horrible gas around and this boar is coming after me and he's trying to kill me. Dude, I swear to God, I will... Actually, wait. Uh, hang on. Buddy, pig's helping me. He's joined my team. He's going off to kill something. Uh, no, I don't want to... I'm fine. The pig's gonna be all right. He's gonna do something. And that's how we know that we don't want to go in there. Okay, let's keep going to the gate. I'm lost. You guys know the way to the grit gate? Trivial, trivial, a tough, muscular, strapping creature. <laughs> and that's Ubugufugu, the stalwart snapjaw king. Oh, that's your king? All right, guys. Let's all think about this really carefully, okay? That was a good roll. <laughs> Holy shit! These guys are fucked! <laughs> oh my god! Game over, King of the Snapjaws! Game fucking over, dude! Is that, that's all the- that's Rip Bozo, man! <laughs> that's- that's a Rip Bozo! Anyways, I cast sleep gas. They fall over. That's a bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and do the smart thing here and activate sprint. The snap jaws hate me. I need to get some distance from the bomb guys. Okay, now I'm gonna cast Disintegrate. Get those two off of me. Buys me three turns. Bomb. Goes off. How much health do you have? You're trivial and in perfect health. Uh, listen, man, I gotta lay in. That is so many bombs. I have to get rid of these guys? So the bombs go up there and kill those guys instead of coming to kill me. <gasps> I mean, it dealt with itself. But if I was any closer, I'd be fucking dead. The horse lived. How's the horse doing? Well, I'm fine. They're fine. All of the horses are fine. How's the, uh, Feral Laws doing? Good. It's 
still more of you, huh? Yo, Snapjaw Brute, do you want to join my team? I'll have to let him get closer before I can try. I'm gonna start precog, just in case. Cause this part's this is starting to get a little dicey out here. Now I'd love to have a Snapjaw Brute on my yep. Yeah, kill him for me. What, <laughs> dude? Espers are so strong, man. <laughs> it's just like. Fucking d go kill all these guys for me, please, and thank you, and have a good day. Yes. All right, you kill everyone. I'm going to go ahead and loot some stuff. What's good? Uh, no, I'm good on precog. Weird artifact and a club. Yeah, we're going to grab the weird artifact. We're going to skip getting the club. So where's the dead king, though? Uh, let's see. Uh, your companion, a Snapjaw Brute, died. She bled to death because of Du Dawaf Ugo, the calloused Snapjaw Skull Splitter. Hey, Du? We got a Du here? Can you, uh, come out? Du? I'm not gonna come to you. I'm hungry. But if, uh... Thought I saw movement. I don't want to go to my other campground. Where's I just want to eat food. Where is this asshole? Is that them? Okay. Tussocks of fur, dress, skin, stretched over taut muscle. Upright she stands, but she looks ready to drop onto fours. Her snout snarls and her ears twitch. She barks, and her hyena tribesmen answer. They're the alpha of another swarm that I'm assuming is mostly dead at this point. Uh, what are your weapons? Just bite, steel battle axe, and a staff? That's unfortunate. I'm so sorry. They died instantly when I did that. <laughs> they got- I think I got impaled by something. Yo, you good? Wow, it's a bloodbath. Water skins. I mean, I'll take all that. Fine, some some stuff. I mean, I'll uh, it'll put me over my weight limit. Uh, eat that. Yep, and then get that and get that. I'm overburdened still. Okay, I think I actually have a thing that. Let's me like drop a bunch of stuff. Yeah, drop weight. So it'll drop stuff that's like garbage. Uh, or stuff that's like not exactly relevant to me. Like ruined tunics, stuff that's broken, stuff that won't actually come out very well. Here looks like an excellent place to deposit my offspring, Chad. <laughs> it's time. It's time. I'm going to lay an egg. Grow big and strong, my boy. I'm not going to get to lay another egg for another 14,000 turns, by the way. The shell of this cumbersome egg oozes congealed waste filtering from inside. Holding it in your hands, it pulsates softly. A hint something is growing inside. Arise! I don't think you dropped just trash. Oh, yeah. The stamp data disc was not supposed to be dropped, but that I did drop just trash technically as well. So you look like a fool. Arise! My boy! Arise! My child! What? Wait, the clone of idiot times four unequips the hooks for feet. Wait, but that's... Dude... That's, uh, that's fucking beautiful. That means he, he wasn't born with, he wasn't born with my horrible disability. He really is. It's really that easy. He unequipped them. He evolved. Holy shit. They had, this is chat. Mavrushum is their name. Okay. 
Mavershoom is their name. And having an exact clone of every one of my stats, all the way down to Ego, is apparently their, uh, their game. They're down, I think I have 29 Ego, though. How am I ever gonna know which person's who? This guy's probably gonna kill me, isn't he? I can't talk to them. I need to get him into a fighting situation. They're gonna disintegrate me, dude! How- I need to tell him to get away from me. Let's be cool. I need to know what he does in a fight, so I'm gonna precog myself and then try to blow him up. Dude, I don't wanna fucking die. If he disintegrates me, I'm dead. What if he precogs your precog? How did we not see this coming? How did we not see this coming? Chat, I don't know how many times I need to tell you I can't talk to the guy. People are like, you gotta talk to him, just press C. You fucking can't, you absolute nimrod. Okay, you can't. I can't. You can't. You can by looking at them, you nincompoop. Oh yeah? Look, uh, uh-huh, okay, look at them and press space, okay. It's just funny because a lot of people were saying things and they weren't actually giving me the entire thing I needed to do, so they were what I would call even worse than a normal shit backseater, which is a really shit backseater who won't even give you all the details. So it's like if you get a B, if you get a back C, at least give me the actual correct thing in detail, so I don't have to chase you down for it. Okay. Thanks for understanding. Okay, dude. I need you to never, ever, ever. I need you to never, ever. Going forward. Be near me. Okay. Direct ability use. Okay. <laughs> you are not allowed to use disintegrate. Okay, that's rule one. Okay. That's rule one. Rule two. Uh, you are not allowed to use burgeoning. I don't want multiple plant things. That's just gonna explode me. It's already too dangerous as it, as it is. Next, you are allowed to lay eggs. <laughs> but I do not know if I want him to be able to precog because I don't know how my game would process that. I don't know what that means for me. We're, di we're on different levels of precog. On NPCs, it's a full heal on death. Well, that sounds pretty good. 
Problem is, without, he doesn't, we don't have any abilities that will let him do damage without me giving him something to do damage with. So, I think I need to give him my melee weapon. The Fullerite thing. Or else he's just a meat shield. I think I have to give him, I think I give him my, my weapon. Well, then he disappear or, like, lose it. I think this is okay. Is there anything else I need to set on him? Try to stay here. Match attributes. Enable gear pickup. Yeah, dude. You can get you can get gear if you want. I don't fucking care. Go get stuff. Is there anything else I should know about him? I'm sure this will be fine. He's totally not going to fucking kill me. Where is he going? Oh, he's re he really is picking up gear. Look at that. Yeah, he just picked up a bunch of crap. And he equipped it. Look at you, dude. He's got clothes on already. This is great. Okay, cool. Live your best life out there, man. Why did you just, why do you, why did you do that? He just blew himself up. What the fuck is he doing? Bud, we got to go to the grit gate. All right, we're, we're still lost. I forgot. God damn it. Who's that clown? Mechanimist Pilgrim. Hello. Do you have the directions? Good, sir. He knows where we live. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're trying to get to the grit gate. 500 XP for doing that. Spark ticks. Okay, so we... What's the job we need to do while we're here? What was it again? Quests. Travel to Gr Grit Gate. Locate the Barathmurite Enclave somewhere within Grit Gate. Speak with them. That's the quest. Do you just use a sleep thing? Is that going to knock me out? Precog! <laughs> I need to know if this affects me. Doesn't look like it. But it looks like our son's about to die. This one's not a very good son. Uh, is what I'm going to say so far. Did he kill that spark tick? He did. How are you doing on health, though, man? Badly wounded. Uh, probably save him if I make plants. He's a psycho. He just ran in. He just fucking sprinted right in there like a maniac. Well, now I know that he's pretty much doomed for this world because we have no spells to give him. And I took away his damage thing. So that's interesting. Uh, but I am going to undo my... I am going to go back with Precog. Mainly because I've taken a lot of damage and would rather just explode everyone here and then like retreat and like kind of like do like a hit and run thing. So we are going to end the vision and go back. Mainly because I'm about to just disintegrate these two instead. So, uh, bop. Wait a minute. Oh, no, he took 38 damage from it. Yeah, no, he, he did indeed take horrible damage from the disintegrate. I couldn't tell if he took it or not. Yeah, everything's fine, though. Is my bleeding over yet? I was bleeding, but I think I'm okay now. All right, let's just... No, I'm still bleeding. Wait, no, I'm not. Not anymore. Oh, another tick. Okay, well, these guys are worth a... Wait, who's me? That's me. That's him. Okay. We're gonna just keep having ticks and shit coming through here, so I'm just gonna... Yes. Yep. And then I'm just gonna back it up. Kind of let this clean up itself for a while. Is he, like, dead? What's wrong with him? He's not moving. <laughs> he's not... He's not... Moving. He's just sitting there. Oh, fuck me, dude. He got the shit kicked out of him. Hey, fuck off! 
Bartik's... Oh, he's dead. He slept the fucking entrance. And now I'm under attack. The nerve of some creatures. Dude, my midheads shake off the exhaustion I get from fucking disintegrate, dude. Did you see that? I didn't even have to wait that time. Right midhead was just like, God, dude, we're good. Holy shit. He's still alive. The boy's still alive. He's still here. We're still in the game, chat. We're just gonna let... I think we just make a camp. There's still hostels nearby. We'll need to let them come out and show themselves. I think the best way to do that, though, is kind of just to, like, throw another burgeoning into here. Enjoy, assholes. And then we just kind of let them thin out the uh, herd a little. Yeah, we'll just let them all kill each other. And then we'll get in there. I got burgeoning again. We're going to follow the perimeter and take a look around the grit gate. See if there's anything we can find. Man, this guy loves doing sleep move. But it's not even that good. Damn, I was really hoping I could do this without having to disintegrate. What more health is this? Oh, sorry, chat. I hit my mic. Which means in a way I kind of like... I kind of like attacked you. R&R Bjorn, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ow, what the fuck? You're fine. Hey, uh, you're strong, uh, Mr. Centipede. Do you want to join my team? Fuck yeah, he fucking does. All right, guys, so here's the plan. We should rest. Way droid. People all day today, man. People all day today. People all day today fucking crawling out of the woodworks. Uh, okay. I'm gonna choose to dash. Up. And around. I think my boy is dead. Everyone, a moment of silence for our dead friend. Killed before his time. <laughs> my boy! That's my son right there! I swear to God I will kill every way droid! No, dude! Okay. And that's what I think of that. Alright. Fucking assholes. Okay, they're all dead now. There's still hostels nearby. I'm biding my time. I'm biding my time and healing. No one attacked me, but there's still hostels nearby, which means I can't feed. I'm gonna follow the perimeter. I really want to level up. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, I really just want to level up. Why, hello? There's nothing I think that I could do that's more menacing than activating precog when I run into something. Uh, why hello? Creature of the night. Uh, I pressed disintegrate. What was that, 289 damage, motherfucker? I wake up from my exhaustion immediately. I get back on with my life. Can I make a campfire yet? Yes, I fucking can. I'd like to whip up a meal. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back in there. Gonna follow the perimeter. I just want to sweep the place. Make sure there's nothing like crazy. Uh, no, nah, we're good without the precog. That guy blew up. Remember, this grit gate's a fucking scary place. It's not a joke. But we are getting close to leveling up. That's a slime stained way droid. Be cool, man. He's after me still! He's still after me! Never mind. 
Thanks, boys. You guys have a good one. I'm gonna get on getting on. I... Mother fucker. Get the fuck out of here. That guy just crit me? That guy just fucking crit me for 17 health in one attack. Was that shot by this guy or some guy past this guy? Okay, in that case, sprint up around the corner. And now I'd like to menacing stare you to scare you. Get away from me. And that levels me up. Okay. I'm gonna dip here and try to get my health back. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Now we've leveled up. It's time. First thing, I would like really, really badly, I would really quite enjoy getting cooking on this character. But how long is it going to take before I can get something like that? Cooking and get- there it is. Yeah, I want to cook. I want to learn- I'm, I've been buying recipes, I think it's a cool part of the game. I want to be able to cook. Cook from a recipe. We're going to make Chef Krishirak's Umet. I eat the meal, you start to metabolize the meal, you gain the following effects for the rest of the day. It looks like it said nothing. Was that- <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that was a recipe that doesn't do anything. Thanks, legendary chef of legend. You fucking absolute goon. Okay, well, hey. Good news is... We have two mutation points. I'm wondering if it's about time we get involved in... Our stuff is like automatically leveling up because we're f our ego is so high we don't need to level anything. Like we don't really need to put any levels in anything. We really just need to, we really just need a damaging mutation to come up in the next level or two. Something shot me with like a critical attack at one point. I'm not sure if it was this the the bug or something else. Because I think... I don't think bugs can shoot slugs. So I think some, like, turret shot me. It was a slug snout that died. Okay, as long as it's dead. Dude, my security card! Look, I got past this door that doesn't go anywhere! That might be helpful later. We haven't we bought that! Dude, that's fucking crazy, dude. I made this. This is my son. But are you fucking crazy? A seed spitting vine hit me. Are you... Are, am I not cool with one of these guys? Easy. Friendly. That's a red death daka, huh? Impossibly powerful red death daka. Well, uh, I'm gonna menacing stare this guy. He resists becoming afraid? Okay, I press disintegrate. Yeah, this guy doesn't even- the Red Death Docker doesn't even fucking care. I move on with my life. Get rid of the slime. We'll let disintegrate and menacing stare come back online. Okay. Still no way downstairs so far. Still not seeing anything that gets us where we need to go. Keep your wits about you. What's this? Burnt capacitor. We picked those up. Trash. Trash. Cracked lens. Cracked lens. We take those. I'm carrying too much to move. Alright, maybe we don't take all those. I might need to try actually identifying some stuff. I also could... Uh, no, I want to keep the bark armor on. We're going to drop some of these clothes. Drop. 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 I'd like to examine this. So this is a compass bracelet. 
Okay, uh, I'd like to look at it. Chance of becoming lost reduced by 10%, but it's damaged. I mean, I'll still equip it. I'm gonna drop some of these old weapons. Oops. No, we want to keep the Fullerite Club, thank you. I'm gonna drop some of these old weapons. Hello? Looking for the way down? Dude. Get a fucking hit. <laughs> I destroy everything in a seven block radius. Okay, get a fucking hint. You don't just approach me. I'm a powerful creature. You guys? Guys, do plants move if you make them your, like, buddy buddy? Like, companion? Because that's, that's an incredibly powerful banana tree. <laughs> okay. Because I was going to see if I could proselytize them or whatever it is. Okay, we're down here by myself. What's up? Oh no. That's a fucking slug snout on top of it. Okay, first of all. Precog. Second of all. Burgeoning on them. So they can't shoot by me as easily. Next. We're going to sprint. Up. Because that slug snout's getting bopped. I want to sprint up here and let these guys come after me. A little closer. And now we disintegrate all of them. Okay. Those guys are still alive. When this one gets to me, I'm going to... He's unconvinced by my pleas! Well, that's fine, man. That's it crit me. Ow. I'm just going to do the smart thing here. And rotate back around my plants. Because these plants will do a lot of the work for me until I can resummon them. Very good, my... I really wish I could close this pop-up so I could know what just appeared. I think it was a spark bug. I still have menacing stare... Burgeoning's up in 18. I have the stairs, which means I can technically get away from them. I think it's just a spark tick. Average one, two. All right. Uh, I'm going to make sleep gas in case he comes for me. That made him not come for me, which means now I will just wait here. Hello. What are you? Hostile segmented mirthworm. They're sleeping, though. Please get off of my stairs. All right. This is going to be like... The base camp is going to be the top of the stairs. Uh, we're going to make a little... There's still hostiles nearby. Wait, is this guy hostile to me? Friendly. No, that's my livid creeper. That's my friend, the livid creeper. Giant, oily, eyeless crab. Dude, all you got to fuck off. Everyone get away from the stairs now. I need this place cleared. See, chat, you're at an advantage as long as you camp stairwells. Because what are they going to do? Push me off of it? Fuck no. As long as I go up and down this stairwell like this, I hold the power. Get the fuck out of here. That dude's supposed to be easy to kill, and it takes me, like, fucking 18 hits to kill a Mirthworm. Heal up. Go back down. We're just looking for the guys. I don't even... Dude, I don't even give two shits about anyone that lives here. I'm just looking for the better in my en en enclave. Why is this happening to me? Hello? Fuck out of my face. We're gonna chat. Everything's gonna be fine. We just need to find another buddy. That's our issue. We don't have a friend. We need another friend. I'm gonna try to actually get someone to join our team again. We just need a friend. I don't think this guy's gonna listen. 
I don't think the way droids are very good friends. Thank God for the creeper. Dude, thank God for the creepers. The creepers, whoever these guys, like these livid creepers spawn in every time for me. And they do so much melee damage. Like this guy is like the new like camping ground. Like we live here by this guy. This guy's like instant kills on everyone around him. All right. We keep move. Instant kills, dude. This guy does so much damage. All right. We need to keep moving. I'm on fire. My aloe pyra really fucked this one up for me this time. The aloe pyra really pissed me the fuck off on this one. Uh, I'm not really... Chad, I got some bad news. <laughs> um... Let's think about this really carefully. Let's think about this really carefully. Is that oil? That's oil. Uh, I was gonna jump into that, and now I know that's bad. Here's the plan. Here's my- here's my big plan. First of all, start precognition. Second of all, go into my inventory. I believe I have water. Now, if I were to pour this on me, like five drams of it, it would put me out. Probably didn't need five drams, but I did five drams. Now I'm gonna run from the worm. Dude, worm chan, you have no idea how fucked you are. You come after me for another goddamn second. Okay, they got him. Oh, I undid my precog. Wait, this is a good chance for me to see if I could have maybe saved some money. Hang on. Five drams. Let's try, uh, let's try three drams. Yo, let's get the fuck out of here. That aloe plant really pissed me off, though. That's gonna be a problem. Though that might end up being, like, a recurring issue if those guys... I, maybe I can't place these things, like, directly, uh, in front of me anymore. Whoa! Easy! <gasps> dude, I love crits, dude! I love being crit, dude! So you think you can just push me around? You have no idea how powerful the disintegrate spell is. Motherfucker. I lived. I'm the only one who did. And don't you fucking forget it. Gonna just go ahead and whip up a quick meal out of a delicious dram of cider and some goat jerky. And a star apple, sure. Cook it. Mmm, plus 10% max HP and plus 5 quickness. Don't mind if I do. Let's wait until I've healed. Back onwards we go. How much uh, mutation points do I have? Mother of God. <laughs> well, chat. Cracks neck. Here we go again. Holy shit. Quills, no one fucking cares. We ignore it. Teleport? Yeah, that's cool. Ignoring it. Domination. 
You grow an adjacent creature's mind and control its actions while your body lays dormant. Mental attack versus creature with a mind. Chad, what happens if I die while I'm dominating? You die. Why don't I precog and find out? <laughs> Wait, yeah, dude. You're being watched. It's a familiar feeling when someone has watched you in the past when it's light that's betrayed your presence. You made a friend of the darkness. You pulled your hat brim low over your eyes. You stepped behind the cover of a thatched wall. But those who watch you now watch in spite of such simple obstructions. This sight isn't mediated by rays of a gleaming star or torch, but by something much older. If there are ways to conceal yourself from these seeing eyes, if there are new kinds of darknesses to befriend, you know nothing of them. What's this? Psychic glimmer. Your psychic glimmer represents how noticeable you are to the vast psychic aether. As your mental mutations increase in level, so does your psychic glimmer and the frequency, strength, and number of those who desire to absorb your mind. Currently, you are being watched and pursued by ospreys, toe servants, and birds of psychic prey who pluck larval espers from their egg sacs. Whatever, who asked, brother? <laughs> who asked? Slash me, increase ego to 30, and plus 7. They want my eggs! Whoa. Dude. Chill. Oh my god. Thanks for the help, man. So, what are you? You're an eyeless crab and you're another mirthward. I'm not gonna fucking dominate an eyeless crab. Although I would love to get you on my team. Thank you for helping me. You're my friend now. Come on, eyeless crab. Can we talk? Uh, let's talk. Hey, what's your name? My name's Hasgoss Crab. Hasgoffo Crab. Thanks. Hey, man. Well, it's good to have you on the team, man. Uh, you can take whatever you want off the ground. I don't really care. Yeah, welcome to the team. Whoa! We got a bunch of worms on me, man. I think I'll be okay. I'm so nervous about using the plants now, now that I know, like, how dangerous that can be for me. But I don't think this guy's gonna give me a choice. Although it seems like Prostelitize is already up again. Why don't I just... Hey, is the crab still my friend too? Where's the crab at? Did he die? Where's my crab buddy? He's friendly to me. But he's not going to follow me anymore. So I basically traded. But he's my... But it made him my friend. Which is a pretty good deal. So the way I see it right now, chat, is... I'm basically... Only going to do damaging moves when it feels like I absolutely need to. Because it's a big risk. Because sometimes guys do show up that are just like pretty strong. And I'd rather not be uh, spending any of my moves on stuff that might die naturally anyways. I don't know why I even bothered trying to do that. Uh, like this guy. This guy require the, the robots require like a more careful approach. Does the crab want to help me? Because we're friends? Giant centipede! No! I didn't even learn his name yet! Burgeoning! Plants arise! You may only select a visible square. There's so much blood in the way, I actually can't see the fucking target. Dude. 
I'm gonna need you to fuck right off. Thanks, Creeping Vine. I can't believe they killed my boy. So many of our friends dead. I don't even know if I want to go down there yet. I kind of feel like I need to... The novice of the sightless way to the southwest burrows a channel through the psychic aether and begins to sunder your mind. You better fucking hope you kill me with that fucking move, jackass. Locked in psychic battle. You're gonna lose your psychic fucking battle. Alright, I'll tell you what. Activate precognition. You're gonna sunder me? Have you considered joining me? Come along. <laughs> Have you considered joining me? Come, we can be more powerful than ever if we're together. Come along, friend. Take a rest. No need to wonder about what could have been in another world. Come along. What's your name? What's your name? Um no longer. I see, I see. Um no longer. I'd like to... I'd, I'd like to have you make sure that you pick up any gear you desire. I'd also like to see what abilities you have. Only Sunder Mind. You can sunder mines. Sunder as many mines as you want, Um. For, not, for 17 fucking damage at range. Do whatever you gotta do out there, Um. Welcome to the fucking team. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, Um. Excuse me, crab. We have there's so much work to do today. Fucking Christ, Oom's gonna change the game for me. I'll tell you what. Unless I have to blow him up in a second. <sighs> Starting to feel like I'm gonna have to blow him up in a second. <sighs> Oom, you gotta sunder some mines. I'm gonna have to blow people up. Well, Oom was fun for a little. <laughs> well, that was cool for one second, Oom. And then you died. Um, no! <laughs> Every person I care about is taken from me by specifically way droids. Maybe, chat, maybe I need a more, maybe I need a more simple life. Maybe I take up the life of a, of a funny little creep vine. I hate this guy. I hate him. Go away. And then we camp up here until it comes back again. And now we go back down. Found the, way, found the way down, guys. <laughs> Good news. I found the way down. Disintegration back up. Hello. Electrofuge. Okay. Were you fucking sure about that? Idiot. It's good thing you can't disintegrate stairs. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that is a, that is a good thing. What is this? Bear jerky. Dude, who died here? There's like lead slugs and ring mail. T treasure for me. Are you fucking sure? T I don't even care about loot. Why would I? Slumberlings are not to be trifled with. But they're very slow. Chat. What is that there, though? I need to know what's here. There's, like, clothes here. <gasps> oh. Enable precock. I really wish I had better distance, better ability to see what was in front of me. Would you like to join my team? <laughs> Would you like to join my uh, community? 
Uh, yeah, I'd like to return back to the beginning of my uh, precog, please. Thank you. All right, this time I'm going to try a different thing. Run like hell! That was not what I wanted to do. I said, run like hell. Goodbye. Yep. Yes, sir. And now we're just going to go ahead and uh, make a nice little cooking fire up here on the safest floor. Yep. Go ahead and make a camp. Uh, no, I want to make a new camp. Please. Nope. New camp. This is going to take me like somewhere I don't want to be. There's going to be like an enemy here. Watch. I hate it when the game won't let me make a new camp. I know this is lit. I know it's here. I'm gonna just make some, I'm gonna preserve some food. Get my mind off of things. So we are not good enough at our thing to uh, really deal with these slumberings. Oops. But, and here's what I am confident on. I might be able to punch through them with, uh, if I could fucking see them that is. There's one of them. He's asleep again. Why don't we just let them sleep? How about we just have an idea? Let's let those idiots fucking sleep. And we'll wait for our precog to come back and we'll like do other stuff. And not fight the slumberlings. I wish I could see farther. These guys never, uh... I'm curious if there's anything in that chest. Oh well. Gasp. Gasp. Horrible creatures. And you, sir, you will join me. Come along. And that gets me a level up. Two mutation points. We're closing in on more chit chat again. And let's see here. Uh, hmm. Inspiring presence is starting to feel like a good idea. Intimidate. Feels like intimidate is becoming more and more relevant to me as we get stronger. So centipede now as a buddy for now. We need to explore the rest of this surface before I want to go down another level. Oh, hello. Right, hello. Chet, what I'm thinking is... Fuck, I don't have precog for another 20 turns. I want to get this guy on my fucking team. I want a fucking snout boy to be on my team. I don't want this shit I have. Okay, that's what we do. Up. Sleep. Oh, that's bomb, guys. They're sending the bombs. All right, we're getting the fuck out of there. Uh, it seems they're planning on blowing up the uh, slug. Okay, the tumbling pods killed everyone. Tumbling pods are fucked, dude. That's some scary shit. <laughs> Damn, that's too bad. I really wanted to capture that guy. Shotgun shell, steel, vine, reaper, get it, fractured microchip, copper. We're just looking, we're, we're really just kind of shopping around. It's too bad that fucking Esper guy we had died, you know? He could have been the one, dude. He could have been it. He really was like the best guy we ever saw, and he could sunder someone's mind from us so far away. But it's just too bad he died so fast to the first thing that hit him. He could have been it, man. He really could have. I'm just so tired of being lit on fire by my summons. I really am, you know, cause it's just like, why, bro? Fucking why? Do you think I'm, do you think I'm made of freaking water? No.
I'll just camp here while the fucking chaos ends, I guess. Let this- let this all play out. Okay. Dude. For real. Fuck right off. Okay. Cool. Now... I'm gonna take a look around. Where... Am I headed to next? I don't want to fuck with the slumberlings, so I guess we're heading down. With any luck, soon we will find... The shit I... Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah. I'd like to go down. Oh, there's a guy down there. Okay, come up. And... Bop. Cool. Wait here another second. My torch burnt out. I have more of those, right? Yeah. Cool. We go down. Something hit me for eight damage. It's a slug. From the west. Okay, this is my chance. Fuck. Needs to be one closer. Okay, start my precog now. I'm gonna gun it for him. Fuck! He crit me for 22, dude! Yeah, I'd like to return to the start of my vision. I tried. Pfft. Let it be known, I tried. I did try to, I did try. I tried to get that guy to be my buddy. He was a little rascal and wouldn't fucking come along. I did everything by the books and none of it mattered. It's just not fair. Now where's my fire? I'd like to whip up a meal. Get myself some snacks. Get back down there. LMAO, you saw your imminent death. Those pig guys crit for 22. Dude, I've only got 40. Yeah, that was an imminent death moment. The oh, pigs don't fuck around. Okay, so that's a giant bear. He's hostile. Only the familiar nursery rhyme courses through your brain. The grizzly bear is huge and wild. It has devoured the infant child. The infant child is unaware it has been eaten by the bear. Yo, you want to join my community? I don't have precog, so I'd honestly rather wait. He doesn't care! <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go ahead and activate sprint for this. I'd really like precog before I fuck with the bear. Thank you. I'm gonna burn the clock until precog's back up. Okay. Down. Down. Bear probably followed me only to the stairs. So. Activate precognition. Now. I'm gonna try to get them to join me. Where you at? Where the bear at, though? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Whoa, what the fuck just happened on the fucking chat, bro? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Guess I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna make a plant swarm over there in the distance, far away from me. Okay, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I somehow lived. I am actually baffled I lived. I That was the first time I've had the exhaustion last all three turns on me. Good thing it good thing they weren't able to kill me. That was close. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get food and hope the bear doesn't ever come to find me. I'm gonna cook a recipe. I still can't believe that recipe they gave me doesn't do anything. You know? What the fuck? 
I'm better off making my own food out of star apple jam and cider. Protects me from bleeding. Okay, we have to be getting close, chat. We have to be getting close to the end, right? The, 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 we, we, this quest that they gave me is ridiculous. But we have to be nearing the end, and the bear has to be dead. It's the only thing that makes any sense. The bear's dead. The bear's been dead. Okay. Go back up. You got the tick after me. It's fine. They're not going to follow me all the way up, apparently. I wish I had another spell other than disintegration. Another, like, proper damaging ability. Because it would be nice. Okay, well, I'm going to make another pack of plants over here. Off the diagonal for me. We need it to be off the diagonal so there's less chance of something exploding me or lighting me on fire. Musket, steel longsword, bear jerky. Water skin empty. Borderlands revolver. I mean, guns are cool. Still just kind of wondering where the guys are that I was, I don't know, tasked to find. Just kind of wondering on that. I would really like to get that crab to join my team again by being fucking body blocked by these worms. The worms are just such a fucking menace for me. I can't believe these, the only DPS spell I have is fucking disintegrate. <laughs> it's starting to be very noticeable that I need like another option to fight. You know what I mean? Cause, uh, boy, oh boy. I have no real tools. I have no tools here. How much longer until I'm able to lay another egg? Is it time? 9,000 more turns. And then it's egg time, baby. Okay, nothing else is coming out. I just wish I was able to easily kill these guys without getting into, like, an actual scuffle. Okay. That was a three-turn exhaust. Ah, trees! That's the least helpful thing to stop a robot! One of those just... Real star apple trees? That's never happened. Food, if we live. Guys, look. If we live, food. Okay. We'll be all right. We've got disintegration up. Wow, neato. We can really get some fucking apples. Maybe. Never mind. Probably not. Dude, where is... Do you want to join my team? You know, I, 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 might as well. How about you go over there and kill some people for me? Yeah? Help me out. Give me a solid. Keep the worms off me. That's your job. I'm carrying too much to move. This happens a lot more than you'd think. It's because of all of my books that I carry. Uh, I guess I'll examine this while I wait around. Stun rod, no cell. Uh, do I have a cell? I don't have any cells that I could install into a stun rod. Uh, well, in that case... I think I'm gonna ditch some of the- I have so much scrap, which is useless to me. I don't know what to do with it. So scrap is truly garbage. For me. I don't really gain much from it right now okay well we keep on checking the perimeter for what looks like the people i'm looking for which is again as a reminder i'm looking for the barath my enclave deep beneath the grit gate no giant centipede is dead 
I didn't ask for his name this time because I... Frankly, I, I knew stuff would, like, end like that. Level 11. Chat, it's time again. No, it isn't. Sorry, I fooled you. It's one more level and then we, then we, then it's time again. One more level, then it's time again. It's going to take one more level. I was wrong. But then it's time again. No, no freaking, no freaking anything. No guys, no one, just worms. Just a lot of fucking worms. Get him. Dude, I hate these worms, man. Okay. Okay, fine. Precog. I hate these worms. There's so many of them. That's the problem. Maybe I should dominate them and become a worm. You know what I mean? Maybe that's my destiny. Maybe I become a worm. Uh, you're going to join my team. Go get them. Thank you. The sleep gas one is good, though. Sleep gas is good. Uh, no, we're good. Uh, what is that? An upgrade? Oh, that's my- that's a friendly giant centipede. Uh, well, you're my new friend. And the worm now does also like me. And he fell asleep. He's freaking- he's freaking eeping, man. Get a nice rest. All right. <laughs> Fuck you! I lived. Yeah, I lived. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up now. <laughs> There's just a fucking robot camping the door. I don't even know why I opened doors. I should just explode them right away. Uh, this is going to be a real bummer for my giant centipede. He was accidentally disintegrated by me. It was an accident. Yeah, it was. Let it be known, the game thinks so. So why shouldn't anyone? Everyone should operate on that assumption. Hey guys, so do we see my targets here? No. I'm getting worried it's in the direction of the slumber. May God have mercy on us all. Okay, so this is kind of spooky, and it's because this actually... <gasps> we found them! We found them! It took a hundred years traveling through this cave system. We found them! I lost children on this quest. I lost children. They... They died on this quest. Where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to? Because that's a force barrier. Oh, I talked to this. I forgot. Be gone, Wayfarer. This is no place for you. Wait! My name is Idiot Times Four. The people of Subival re recently came into the possession of a data disk, onto which was a strange signal. At their behest, I carry the disk with me. They say your tutelage is to be my reward. What, fucking seriously? Okay, put the stamped disk in the tray. So you wish to study with us? Unfortunately, we require more than a willing spirit. Cut is not subbiball. You will need to prove your worth that you might not waste our time and efforts. Travel to the great cavern Golgotha to the north. Within its halls, you will find a cache of dysfunctional way droids. Recover one, repair it, and return here. If we are satisfied with your work, you will be admitted to our order. Otherwise, you will not be. Golgotha. Uh-huh. Yeah, I could go to Golgotha. Yeah, man. Yeah, Jack, guys, it's cool. We'll just take a quick trip to Golgotha. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. No one's ever died going to Golgotha. I could, dis I could just disintegrate the door open too, just for the record. To be clear. That's an always forever option for me. 
There's not really much stopping me from just cracking the door open without their permission. But then I'm dealing with the possibility of them just killing me. Wait. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. Hang on, Chad, because here's the thing. We might as well peek inside. <laughs> we might as well peek inside. Activate precognition. Activate disintegration. Activate. Observe if they hate me. Hello? Your door broke. You guys live like this? This place is cool. It's a friendly knock on the door. You know. Uh, anyways, next I walked up to this guy who has an impossible skill level, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to proselytize him. Oh, unconvinced. They're all just a bunch of, like, fucking mole- They're all just a bunch of, like, mole girls. And boys. Spara Fucal. I mean, I am going to use Dominate Creature on one of them, because I am, of course, uh... You know. Come here. Now one of them sees it's gonna happen. They resist. <laughs> well, good news is now we know what it would have looked like if they were mad at me. So I'm going to return to the start of my vision now. And if I want to, it seems like there's not much stopping me from getting uh, in there if I want. There's really not much stopping me. But do I really care right now? Not really. Not really. To be honest, I don't really care. Uh, most of my power comes from my own character's levels ups and skill XP gain. So I don't really care. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Oops, I just took the whole chest. We need to go to a town before we do anything else, though. Which, of course, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Golgotha. Are you kidding me? We have a task to go to Golgotha. We're going to Golgotha. Uh, Subbybull, Subbybull, Recoiler. I don't really know what this is. I'm afraid to activate it. Where the hell's my chest? Well, there's only one way to know. It doesn't have enough charge to function. We have no cells. Never mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't freaking work. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I guess we're not going to be playing with that. Sorry, guys. Anyways, it's time to leave before the bear comes. We... Do I still have to hand in the quest for the, uh... So they want me to, wait, travel to the historical site of Mabawan, erstwhile home of cooks. I'd love to go to the home of all cooks. I don't want to go to Golgotha just yet. Bonus reward for completing this quest by level 12. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the Mabawan. I'm going to fucking go to Mabawan. That's where we're going. Come on, chat. Where's Maba One? Is that fucking Maba One in the deepest part of the deserts? Bro, I don't know about that. <laughs> Bro, I don't. I don't know if I want to go to the freaking desert. Like, chat, it looks far away because it fucking is. We're like pretty far away from that. I don't know if I want to go to freaking Maba One. 
Let's go back to town first, to the south. I'm lost. Well, that's a fucking bummer to whoever lives here if they attack me. Who are you? That's a salt hopper? It has rending mandibles. Fucking idiot. Don't show yourself around these parts again. Congratulations. You win. The prize of working for me. What's your name? What's your name, man? Clan Thuvite. Sorry. Clan Thuvite Atafafinia. That's a proud, strong name. Come on. Also, do you know where we are? Does anyone have directions? The plant gives no indication of understanding. What's your name? Oh, what's up? Yeah, sorry. My name is Chalberty Pine. Okay, cool. Uh, does anyone know where we are? Where are we? I need the directions. I got lost. I could probably ask that boar. Excuse me. Oh. oh. We're not asking him. Okay. Hello! Well, that feral dog got what was coming to him. Excuse me. Uh, do you know where we are? Does anyone know where we are? The horses are battling the tortoise. Hello. I the irritable tortoise refuses to speak with you. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. For him. Health-wise. Does anyone know where we are? Dude, do not step up on me. I swear to God, I will blow you up. All right, idiot. Does anyone know the direct... Can I talk to this guy? Plants really like me. No, that's, that's evil, kudzu. Hello! Hello! Fucking turtle. They're not even worth, like, XP, really. Hello! The fuck out of my way. Hello! The fuck- get the fuck out of my way. Get out of my way. Plants. Arise. None of those were very good plants. Hello? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? My mantis is doing good work, dude. They're just, they're, we're getting, we're getting the job done. I just don't know where the fuck I live, where I am. Uh, slime fields. Hang on, are these guys special? I could probably kill some more legendary snap jaws. That's a warlord. All right, uh, I'm gonna kill them. Yeah, walk straight towards us through the uh, vines. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, walk straight towards me. Yeah. All right. I uh, still don't know where I am. Didn't, and I'm going to loot them. Didn't care about looting. Never did. Oh, uh, hello. I, I know where I am. I recognize it. <laughs> Child, it's okay. I recognize this wall. I figured it out. I know this place like the back of my hands. All right, let's go. We want to go back over. I'm lost. Holy shit. Okay. Help! Help! Hey, can we talk? Are you friendly? They must be. They're not attacking me. That's a salamander. I'll ask them. Hello? What's your name? Itoxi Hokaputui. Nothing more to add. Oh, mantis fight, mantis fight. They both have the same stats. Really, so whoever lives, I will. Dude, they're attacking me. But if you don't help me right now, they're fine still. Okay. You want to join my team? Now we're all friends. I've traded. I've traded mantises. Plants. Pathetic. They're only the snap jaws are only worth one XP each. They're basically garbage. Does anyone know where I am? 
I'm lost again. Help. Help. Dude, what the fuck? You want to join my team? Right on. Who? Is there another one? Okay. I precog. I need to eat food anyway, so. I precog. Uh, menacing stare. He's scared of me. Get the fuck out. Get away from me. And now I'm gonna make dinner. All right, let's cook up a delicious meal out of vine wafer sheaves and star apple jam. Mm -mm -mm. Now that really... I got bad. I heard a scream on the wind. Sounded like a creature of mine. A friend of mine. A good friend. A good, a good guy. What's up? You want to join my team? They're unconvinced by my pleas. Okay, asshole. <laughs> okay, asshole. Okay, dick. Does anyone know where I am? Oh, bad, bad luck, guys. <laughs> Wait, aren't these guys my friends? Livid creepers love me. That's why I don't really want to fucking disintegrate them if I can help it. I'll let the creeper kill him. Listen to them screaming, dude. Me! Me! <laughs> hey. Uh. Can we talk? What's your name? My name is Wenthplum. Do you know where we are? Dude, I need help. Fuck out of my face. Oh, a bird. Bird, bird. What's your name? Ka, 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 ka. Nothing to trade. And nothing to help me with either, fucking asshole. Does anyone know where we are? I'm in some kind of desert canyon. But I don't know what that means specifically. Really. And I'm getting, like, hungry. Well, not really, but like, I'm getting, I'm confused. Still lost. I really got to get that skill thing that lets me not be lost as easily. You guys are all going to have a really bad day in a fucking second. Fuck out of my face. And you. Get planted. I'm on fire again! <laughs> oh, how many drams of water must I be? Pour onto myself. Apparently more than one is needed to do that. I know that for sure. Now I know. We'll stick with the three. We know three worked every time. A uh, fucking ow? A uh, fucking ow? Get me away from the fucking fire. Okay. It's daytime. I still don't know where I am, but I think this is a road. Bud, who the fuck do you think you are? This is a kudzu symbiote, Ekromax. You wanna join my team? The unconvinced by my please? Yeah, I tried. THEY LIVED?! THEY LIVED! AN INCREDIBLY POWERFUL WARRIOR! Okay, anyways, uh... Sprint. Sleep gas. Everyone's after me? You get out of my face. Okay, this is really bad now. Uh, because I guess every single one of them is after me. Uh, alright, we're gonna have to precog now.
we live based on basically what comes out of this. Nothing very good on that roll. So I have to stall for 32 more rounds to live. Those horses are friendly. We're going to do the, we're going to do the top, like the zone swap. Oh, cool. That one's full of guys. Uh, no, I'm going to take this over the alternatives because I can sleep on this line. And buy myself some more time. I'm basically just going to hold this spot. This guy's wounded. Badly wounded. They'll die in one more disintegrate, and then we're kind of okay. Sorry, idiot. Come here. Okay. They're dead. Campfire. Rip up a meal. Cook from a recipe. Can't make that. We don't have the croc jerky. We'll just whip up something. See, Chad, we're fine. You just can't panic. It's a lot. You can stall really well in this game. My guy sees a horned chameleon, which I think is... was going to attack me, so I'm... Okay, fucker. Get lost. I'm trying to... Can't you see I'm trying to cook a delicious... A delicious meal? And then rest? I'm still lost, by the way. By the way, still lost, dude. Still don't know where I am. I found my way home. It's just too bad a thousand guys are after me. Okay, cool. There's no way. Okay, I thought I got lost again. We made it back. We made it back. Chad, we made it back home. Hey, man. Let's talk. Take on this individual's gene splice. What? No, I don't really much want to take on this individual's gene splice. What's a gene sp Gene spice, not splice. Spice. This will spice up my next brood! Damn, man. My next eggs are gonna be crazy after I took on all that gene spice. Did you sex? No, I didn't sex. I took on his gene spice. You guys are sick. Like, you're sick. Why did you read that? I'm really confused, chat, by why you're behaving the way you are. It's just like kind of kind of cringe. Look at all these books I can sell. This guy has no dram, so I basically have to buy stuff from him. I'm gonna buy a glow sphere. Maybe I buy a wooden ba a basic set of tool kits, bandage in case I have a bleed. Very good. I get the weird feeling I'm giving him way too much stuff though. Just give him that. And I'll take some weird artifacts in exchange as well. You'll have a little bit extra on the top. Maybe some water with it. I would like to examine these now. Acid grenade. Cool. Fungicide grenade. Good to know. Chem cell drained, then it's not of much use. Uh, let's trade again. I don't have any way to charge these, I don't think. So we're just gonna ditch those. I'm also gonna sell this, and this, and that. I'd like to buy some more of your artifacts. 
Thank you. And I'd also like to sell these slugs, 136 of them that I guess I've just been carrying, and all these arrows and crap. And we'll sell this book as well if I have the space for the drams. I did. Look at all this water, chat. I mean, I'm overweight. I'm, I'm truly just absolutely overweight with water. I wish I could run this game. Damn, man. I wish you could too. It doesn't seem like that crazy of a game to run. Flaming sturdy bronze great X. Chating on a potato. <laughs> Guys, don't be fucking mean. Plasma grenade. Airfoil plasma grenade. Okay, well, if we want to find out... If we want to really... Because we're overburdened here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start my precog. I'm just, like, kind of curious, you know, uh, in this situation. I just want to, like, kind of pop into my inventory. And I'm just sort of curious how strong a plasma grenade is. I'm going to press detonate on it. Doesn't seem to have damaged them too much. Uh, and now, I mean, I'm still in precog. Uh, I just like to dominate the creature in front of me and just see how that goes. My mind is stranded here. Don't worry, chat. We're in precog. Or it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, or it doesn't matter and none of it matters. Uh, I really wish it would have established that. Okay, well. XD, your precog ended. I guess... I guess... Yeah. Poof. Well, chat. That do be how it do be. Out there. That's sad. I wish that with how much crazy shit there was in this game, it would parentheses and be like, hey, if you use this thing with this, it will do this. I know that it said your mind is stranded here, but I do wish it would have established that. But hey, good stream. I had fun. I'm not going to do any more because it's already been four hours. Uh, if I do this again, I'd probably refresh myself a bit with the game. But... I have fun. This game's a good time. It's fun to see how many stupid things you can do. But. Yeah, I reckon the next guy I do would probably be not an Esper. I might do a uh, Tinker. Get into, like, technology instead. Do something like that. Kind of mix it up a little bit. But. Yeah, tomorrow's stream may very well be uh, a survival run of The Long Dark. It's been a while since we've done that. Last time I did it, it got cut short before I could. I, I may do a Long Dark interloper difficulty run. Uh, like, properly with the new DLC that they added. Like, hardest difficulty survival run. And, like, see how that goes. Uh, because I've never done, I've done like heart, like the difficulty below, but I've never done interloper. So I was thinking maybe I'll do hardest difficulty, not like a challenge mode, just see how long I can get. But yeah, there's a new DLC that adds like a new zone and a bunch of quality of life stuff. And uh, is like kind of like a season pass approach thing. So I reckon that's what we're going to do. I think that's the plan tomorrow. I've been putting it off for a couple weeks, but yeah. Okay, this was just more of like a, I really felt like playing caves. D playing Dwarf Fortress made me really want to play caves again, and I'm not ready yet to play more Kata. So I was like, I'm gonna play a little bit of caves, see if I... Pro the, see, I like, I love caves, but the issue with it is that, unlike Kata, where you can kind of see your death coming a little bit more carefully, caves has so many different fucking mechanics going on all at the same time that like, Literally, I was just like goofing around. I was like, I was barely even talking because I was like, I just didn't fucking go back to my body. And I'm just like, damn. How could I have known? I feel like that happens to everyone that's played caves at least once. You know, I feel like everyone that's been backseating me like crazy all day probably has their death 
that made them uh, question mark and go, how could I possibly have known that this would be the end of my life? I don't understand why this happened to me of all people. Their Joker moment. The Joker moment, so to speak, yeah. No, not me. I never die. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna complain, mainly also because this game, more so than any of the other, like, Kata style, all that shit, you get powerful so fast in this, especially if you unstable genome, that it's like, yeah, I don't, f like, it's not, it doesn't hurt that badly. Like, I, <laughs> okay, I'm like bummed because I would have liked to have gone a little bit longer, but ah, it doesn't hurt me that badly. Uh, because I've been playing a random build <laughs> that spat out, that was spat out for me. So I'm not going to care too much. Uh, Nikolai Belmont 05, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. But, God, that's so, it's still just so interesting. I hope that, uh, once it's, like, done, it'll kind of get another, like, mod sweep where a bunch of people make mods for it, because... Uh, the burnout is far less severe in Caves of Cud when you die. Oh, yeah, like, no joke, chat. Like, one of the biggest issues I have with Kata is that no matter how varied you try to make your character in it, at the end of the day, you are doing the same thing for the first five to six hours of that game. There's no difference between one build or another. You are still doing one extremely specific thing, usually with the same extremely specific one or two weapons that give you the best chance of surviving. Have you played Tales of Majayal? That one's too much for me. I mean that as a numbers thing. Caves is a lot of like, Caves is just some dice rolls. Tales of Majayal is like a fucking spreadsheet. And it's made to be way more fast than this and like blasted through. And I think it would be awful for watching on top of it. I think Caves is still like good to watch. I think it's relatively pretty. And uh, there's fun to be had with it. But Tome is a fucking absolute nightmare. I'd never stream Tome. I like playing Tome. I'd never stream Tome. That's a, that's, that's a nightmare. Just talking about CDDA makes me want to watch some of the VODs. It, I already said the next time I do CDDA, we'll do another challenge thing like we did for Big Guy. If I can like find one that's interesting. And then we're going to do martial arts. Because I've not done a real martial arts build and they've balanced it quite a bit. Uh, it's not as like OP as it used to be martial arts stuff. So I do a martial arts thing. Will you play Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode when it comes out? I know it's a meme, but it could be fun. Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode is like... Tr like, Cataclysm has a game there. Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode is a... Aimless sandbox that has zero fun in it to me. Like, the times I... Maybe it's better with, a, like, a good tile set. Maybe I'd enjoy it more. But I've never really found anything to really, like, sink my teeth into where I've been like, I'm having fun playing Adventure Mode in it. It's just like, I get to a fortress and then I spend 90 minutes trying to find one living person in it because these bases that are in adventure mode literally don't make sense. That's my problem with it. It's like, so much of the map is walking around a place that is like a sneeze. Like, it's a mess. But, we'll see. Probably not anytime soon. It's like, some gross weird shit. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, chat, thanks for coming on by to hang out for a little while. We will be streaming all the way through the week this week, so keep your eyes peeled. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. -ish. Thanks for gifting subs, donating bits, etc. if you did. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Caves of Cut will come back in a little while. Same with Vintage Story. Both these games will come back in probably next, like, next couple of weeks as I familiarize myself better. I haven't given up on Vintage Story, but I'm not going to do it again for a little bit. I'm probably going to progress myself properly and also play a game of it on my own off stream in order to get a little better at that one as well. So, Thanks for gifted subs, donation, donating bits, etc. All very kind. I will catch you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Goodbye.